but some other douchebag anticlimactically kills the bad guy instead. Mm -hmm. Let's not shit talk M MGS5, okay? Let's just not. MGS5 it's a, it's a, it was a tortured development, and it's one of the best feeling video games of all time. It's the fact that that was a, both a PlayStation 3 and a PlayStation 4 game is mad. It really is. It's and we mad. don't talk about that we enough. We do not talk that that is a cross-gen game. That is uh, what I what they were doing. I have no idea, but that is uh, amazing. And it played well on the PS3 as like, well. And Great. it looked incredible. Yep. Like, I bet you if people looked at the, like, a YouTube ver video of the PS3 version, they wouldn't know they're not looking at the PS4 version. Just on first, if, you, if it was next to it, you'd know. But if you just looked at the PS3, it was gorgeous. Ground Zeroes was the first game I ever played on my PS4. And then, obviously, Phantom Pain. I, I, I got a PS4 for MGS5. Toby Blue with a $5 says, Ben, you killed on your first episode of many. How did you first get into gaming? What are your top three favorite games? Oh, top three favorite games. Um, probably the games that I played on the PS1, PS2 era because they're the games that kind of changed my life, right? So it would be Final Fantasy VIII, uh, probably Metal Gear Solid Three, um, and maybe Mass Effect Two. Oh, my God. Um, yeah, it's got a taste. It just may, like, but that's like, you're going to make it in this industry. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Um, yeah, those games, probably. Mumongo Gaming. Hey, Ben, if you could voice any character in any game past, present, or future, what would it be? Thanks, Ooh. FF, for the wonderful stuff you do. I, like, I would have loved to voice. I could never have done it well enough, but I would love to have voiced Nathan Drake. Like, I just love Nathan Drake. I think Nathan Drake is... Uh, you know, I know, I know. Janet thinks he's a bit of a douchebag, but like, he's a he's a cool character. I'd love to. Have yeah, done he's Nathan. great. He's great. Don't listen to Janet. Yeah, I I love Nathan Drake. So the cool it. the coolest thing that I've I, I've never fanboyed more is when we went to PSX, and it was my first year working at Kind of Funny, and there was the Uncharted panel, and Nathan Drake was on stage. Uh, it was a uh, um, uh, Nolan North was on stage, and he was like. Look, I'm doing the, uh, he was like, I, I can do the mocap for you. And he turned around and faced, like, put his back towards us. And he just did, like, the idle Nathan Drake thing. And I was like, oh, my God, that's so fucking sick. <laughs> it was so awesome. Cool. Is, he, is he a nice guy? He seems like a nice guy. Oh, yes. he's a lovely dude. Imagine, Absolutely. no, he's not. He's awful. No, no, Nolan's great. Nolan's yeah. so yeah. awesome. Aegis Alex is... Nolan's is, the type of guy, whenever you hang out with him, like, he, and um, it's very similar to Troy, if, if you guys have seen Troy on our shows, hmm. where within five minutes... Thank he you. will talk to you in uh, 15 different accents yeah. or voices. Like he oh, just, yeah. it's always just animated. It's always something. It, it, it's like what I, what I expect it was like talking to Robin Williams back in the day. Yeah. Where Robin was yes. hitting you with all sorts yeah. of different voices and silly shit. I think to like, to have that muscularity and that control of your voice is absolutely amazing. And um, it takes not just skill, but dedication to your craft and, I really think that he is a shining example, as there are many shining examples in this industry. Of Thank people you. Who are so, like Andy here, mm -hmm. dedicated to like that and bringing like entertainment in a variety of ways. And you get movie stars who do a brilliant job, but like there are people out there, Jennifer Hale, like she was rivet. Like that is yeah. just yeah. the fact that they have that versatility within their voice to kind of like sell us a character, make us believe them, but also kind of make us fall in love with them. I just, it blows me away every time. Aegis Alex says, is that voice actor Andy Cortez from Tales of the Sinky Dragon? Sure is. I was on that and did a little D&D &D over the weekend. $10 super chat from ABS says, uh, Clive versus Starkiller, who'd win? Oh, my. I mean, I think it would, be, it would be a pretty titanic battle between the two people. And I'd certainly, I'd certainly watch it, so make it happen. I think Starkiller would probably just try and crush me with some sort of like, I don't know, like, what are they... Big, big Star Wars things. Like, Star Destroyer? Just Star Destroyer, yeah. Just like get two Star Destroyers and try and crush me. But like Clive would just turn into an icon and try and crush him. <laughs> let's, so. let's do a quick fire round for these final ones. They're great. Toasty Penguin, $5 Super Chat says, Hi, Ben. As a Joshua, should I change my message tone to you screaming Joshua? Or would that be a bit too much? I can't scream it, but I can say it a couple of ways. No, I think, I think they're just saying, like, should I just record like you from the video game? Yeah, know, like, yeah, just record me from the game. Yeah, yeah, I think that'd be yeah. fantastic. I say, I say it enough times, but like, I would joke, I would joke in the recording booth about the amount of times I say, I say Joshua because it would be like Joshua. <laughs> like that. that was good. That so, was good. Uh, yeah, I quite enjoyed it. And if you have a friend named Jason, do Jason. You can Jason. put that in there. Uh, Five dollars from Flying Penguin says, Ben, can you uh, recite a line in your favorite movie as Clive? <laughs> 
Um, uh, yeah, I'm going to do uh, Julia Roberts in Pretty Woman as Clive. Oh. Big mistake. Huge. <laughs> Nick would love this guy. <laughs> Nick would fucking yeah, love this guy. Because uh, I was hoping for some Steven Seagal, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> Ricky Maru with a $5 super chat says, Hey, Ben, do, you don't need to confirm or deny, but if Clive were to show up as a guest character in other games, would you voice him? I have no idea. They like, got to drop the bag, baby. Yeah, I'm his I agent have, now. I, yeah, <laughs> just Andy's got to get something. Yeah. Um, if I'm like, cut his hair for this. Not enough money for him, but I'll take the role. Yeah, you can pay, <laughs> you can pay Andy for me yeah. to do other stuff in other games. $10 from Failure to Think says, you guys missed a 310 Super Chat. Oh, no, I, I read that one. That one just like came later in the list. Uh, $10 from Alaka Champ says, Ben, we love you, man. You did a great job. Thanks for doing the show and sharing that touching story. Also, love the look you're rocking, Andy. What look? What are you talking about? Uh, Casino Royale with cheese with the final super chat. Five dollars says, "Happy day to you all." Here is my last five dollars for the amazing episode of Ben. Gonna survive on toothpaste and dental floss for the week. Cheers. Well, thank, thank you. you. I hope you get the like the the kids' toothpaste one that kind of tastes like berries. They're saying like you know they can't afford food now because they gave us a super. Gotcha, chat. gotcha. Yeah. I was like, what? <laughs> Did you ever like just eat the kids' Colgate toothpaste when I was uh, when I was a kid? I would always just like. Oh, I I had the fear of God in me about eating toothpaste. Like I don't know what it was. Like remember when Scruff McGruff came to school and was just like, hey, don't do drugs. I said okay, I won't. And that oh, was, I was the end like, of that. wasn't the forest fires guy? Uh, that was Smokey the well, Bear. The guy who started forest fires. They were homies. Yeah. But Smokey the Bear. <laughs> Don't do drugs. I was like, you cool, just started forest fires. You got Scruff McGruff. I got a police officer with Dare. <laughs> Oh yeah, no, I got no, Scruff, I Scruff McGruff, McGruff yeah, yeah. and he came with Pokemon uh, booster packs, and I got a Mewtwo, what and I was like, fuck? "Come on, man!" Yeah, so man, that's no drugs right. for me. Sucks. Thanks uh, for this uh, yeah. super chat segment, everybody. We appreciate all of your support, and don't go anywhere because we are headed into the lab right now because Snowbike Mike will be diving into the Final Fantasy 16 demo. Oh, I was asked a million times, Andy, you're going to play it. I feel like I've played it uh, enough, and now Mike is going to get his chance to see what yeah. this game's all about. Hopefully we can get to the end in the time that we have. But thank you once again, Ben, for joining us. Thank Tim, you, you mm -hmm. did a phenomenal job. Thank I didn't watch the show. I'm sorry. Uh, we'll see one. you in a bit, everybody. Stay tuned and click that new YouTube link. Yo, what the heck is going on, Kind of Funny Best Friends? It's your guy, Snowbike Mike, back in the lab, ready for a good afternoon stream. Of course, I'm joined by my guy, the big Kev Dog. Having some fun in here. Kevin, how are you? <laughs> there we go. Of course, we are waiting on Ben and Andy to make their way over here. But today, we have a very special one because, of course, we have the voice of Clive from Final Fantasy 16 in the building. So no better way to jump into a demo than with the person who actually voices the main character, which is pretty exciting. So me and Andy will talk all things about life voice acting video games with ben and of course i'll get to play final fantasy 16 with all of you i have not jumped into this demo yet big kev dog so it is very exciting to check it out and give it a try now tim sorry let me pull my headphones off so yeah. i'm not hearing my own mm -hmm. echo mm -hmm. now tim is saying that this might be the one that gets me he's like hey, oh he's like this like honestly you should give this one a try okay because this, this you is it. he's yeah, saying he's you like, in particular this is it man okay now here's the deal uh -huh. chat here's the deal i've never actually played a final fantasy game oh we're right the same boat, I, my guy. I have played about three hours of final fantasy 15 with the boy bands i have given about three hours into final fantasy 7 remake i've never played it all i've ever done is watched a whole lot of blitzball and so i'm hoping that this game has blitzball uh, and then we can like have some fun with it, but you know if it's cool. It's dope. Maybe we'll jump into it Let's give a big shout out though. Of course to Joey Noel with the tier one sub for 99 months Almost a century marker with one lovely Joey Noel. Thank you Joey for the support and of course kind of funny best friends Don't forget we are this close to filling up today's bar which means we would go for an extra 15 minutes which means we would hit 10 out of 10 on our monthly goals and of course and i gave you your headphones right here but you can change them if you want i don't care what you want to thank do thank you very much uh but of course that means we will have the big zelda stream so if we fill up this bar today which is just right there with your support i will make sure that nick andy myself and kevin have a big awesome zelda stream with all of you starting tomorrow we will have a fun blowout just like the star wars stream so if you want a zelda themed star wars stream type vibe 
Tomorrow will be your goal if we fill up the bar. Of course, don't forget we can fill up the bar and some to keep it going throughout today's stream. We'll be streaming for another hour and a half, but with your support, we can add 15 minutes, 30 minutes, 90 minutes onward all the way to have a good afternoon. Uh, of course, Andy, you look fantastic. Thank you very much, Michael. Andy, if you were to be in this video game, what would your character's name be? Uh, up on stage, like Cortezio. Cortezio. Also like, also like Nitrolius. Nitrolius, yeah, 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 we love that. Maybe we just like that. Andres. I think Andres. I think Andres works yeah, yeah, well, I think that's well a good one. Because a lot of the names in this universe, you'll notice, Mike, uh, we were just talking about it earlier, like, mm -hmm. Final Fantasy is usually Tell Cloud. Me about it. Cloud, yes. And Noctis. Tifa. Tifa. Yeah, but in this one, there's like, mm -hmm. there's like a, a Brent and a Joe. Oh, oh, really? They and get a, basic like that. Gary oh, that's pretty basic. Fucking Steve, you know. Okay, okay, okay. Steve Aoki? Yeah. Man, he threw a Randy. cake. You think you'd get caked? I'd get a cake straight Like, if we face, were yeah. whomping, you think you'd let him throw a cake at your face? No, well, it... In the moment, as it's midair, uh -huh. I'd be like, oh, this is so cool. I'm getting caked. And yeah, I'd be yeah. like, man, the ride home's going to really fucking suck. Oh, dude, right? Yeah, I mean, you'd have to think they got to hit you with a towel, right? Yeah. Like, Steve and his team got to come with oh, some Oh, you think towel. so? I think so. I, I hope that little Billy, who just got caked in the face, isn't now on the drive home. Cake still in his ears, you know Sure, what I mean? yeah, that's a good point. But you're right. You know what? Let, let's write Steve Aoki's people. Let's ask about that. Yeah, you let's know talk I mean? about it. Let's... <laughs> Talk about it. I'd like to know what does he do with his people? You know what I mean? Do, what's up with uh, the cake? You know what I mean? I love the idea of us just asking for an interview for that question <laughs> solely. Steve, I don't want to talk about the music. I don't want to talk about your incredible life. I just need to know what happens after the cake, right? It like, randomly just got louder because the automatic gain control wasn't on. We need to make sure to switch stuff. that on and off every time we do this. Got it. Mm -hmm. He's moving stuff. Um, so. Yeah, we'll have some fun. Mike will like this game if he could watch it on his phone. Oh, you think this is like a watching game? There's a lot of cutscenes. They like Okay. They love showing off these action pack cutscenes. Oh, I love and that. And they're very good. Can we lower the game just a little bit? I love that. Now I will say, of course, we want to give a big thank you to, of course, Joey Noel out there for subscribing and Dropkick Tondo for gifting out five just gifted like memberships on YouTube. He wants to do this one now, Andy. Oh. Okay, I've dropped it down three. Let us know. Yeah. Um Thanks. Uh -huh. So yeah, shout out to all of them for the subs and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Now I will say, I will say, we do have confirmation, Andy. What's up? Let me find it. Let me find it. Let me see it, bro. Robo Panda says, can't confirm. No towels. Oh, no. No towels were given if you take a cake to wow, the face. Wow, so Robo Panda got the treatment. Got the cake treatment. Got Wow, you think Robo Panda got cake? I, th I think we have a celebrity. That's in insane. Midst. I'll yeah. tell you what. And they should hire us to be part of Steve Aoki's team. We'll cake be the cleaners? towel guys. Or we bring the towels. How about this? Tell they me. don't hire us, but we show them that, that they should hire us. When somebody gets caked, we suddenly show up on the scene. We're, we're like in maybe like an all white outfit, okay, like yeah, yeah. in a button up. We look mm -hmm. like we work for, uh, like we look like we like janitors or something. Oh, and yes, we, yes. And they go, oh, wow, that's a service we haven't thought about. That's Shit. a service we need here. We're Aoki's cake cleanup yeah. crew. Yeah, yeah. We show up, towels, new merch. Maybe everybody who gets caked gets a Steve Aoki t shirt. Yeah. You know what I mean? I will wipe you down, boom. Getting baked and getting caked. Oh, man, yeah. I get baked. That's right. Shout out to Foxy Steve for getting out a Tier 1 sub. And, of course, thank you to Skyward Phoenix for the Tier 1 sub for 30 months. And, of course, the Ghost Baker for getting out a Tier 1 sub over on the Twitch side of things. And then your dog with the membership for eight months. Wow. I think you've been a member almost the whole entire time we've been Twitch streaming on YouTube. So thank you for that. Eight months? Yeah, eight months is close. We're, like, we're at like the nine-month marker. You no think way. October to now, that's 10. Oh, you're talking you know, about, you, oh, sorry, I'm sorry. You know what I mean? Totally I'm adding mistaken. it up, adding it up numbers. We got a lot of jabronis walking in here out of nowhere. Thank you. <laughs> walking in out of nowhere. No one, no, one, no one told us what you needed. What do you need? What do you need? What do you need? What do you want? What do you want? <laughs> exactly. Thank you, Andy. What are, are you doing? Are we live? Are we live? Yeah, we're live. Hey, everybody. It's Greg. I haven't been on camera yet. It's all built up inside. Oh. That's what it is. He's just uptight. He's just uptight. That's what it is. Okay, yeah. Ben, ben, come hang out with me and Andy. Is right. Yeah, yeah. They just want to put one on so you can still hear us. Just a little one. Yeah, just a little one. I love that. Greg, Greg is just excited, you know? He hasn't been on camera at all. 
He made a TikTok though. Did I he? watched it. Yeah, yeah. It's huh. yeah, yeah. It, um, uh, Ben, hello. Kevin, can we get the Let, on? Let's reset yeah, our lives jacket, really quick. Like, yeah, yeah. The costume, so just let it ride. Uh, ben, it is great to have you. We're so excited. Thank you. Of course, today's conversation has started with, would you take a cake to the face from Steve Aoki? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Great answer. Yeah, great I mean, great answer. That, like, You're in? What's in the cake, though? You're in? Oh, it's just a no, normal sheet does. cake. Just yeah, that's just what it is. Have you never seen that? No, not really. Oh, my God. Every conscious Steve, Steve Aoki, cake, 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 he just walks out on the stage insane. and throws, like, a cake in the crowd. Yeah? Hits somebody right in the face. I don't see what the downside is. It's free food. It is. Free but food. also, like, it's mm -hmm. sweaty and wet out there, too. So maybe nah, you, you don't get a little, eat it. <laughs> you, get a little, you get a little sticky, is right. You get a little sticky. Yeah. It's ASMR. <laughs> it, feels good. it feels good. Yeah, this is it. This is it. All right, Mike. So this is your first yeah. time hopping into the demo. I'm very excited uh, for Yeah, it. first time. I'm a very big Final Fantasy newbie, so Ben, you're going to have to guide me here, yeah, you know what I mean? Be. Share some moments. Andy and I will ask you questions. We want to know all about your voice acting journey, and most importantly, what character you love, you know yeah. what I mean? Let's jump into it. I I'm should have brought my scuff controllers to get a back paddle. Uh, oh, that would have elevated my gameplay, you know what I mean? Would have elevated my gameplay. Let's do it. Looking good. Want to this... make sure frame rate's on. You want to do action focus, big dog? What you like? Oh, over here? Oh, very, very bottom. Uh, uh, yeah. Oh, performance you yeah, want? Yeah, homie. Sure, the, the frame, frame rate. rate. Frame We're rate. dropping the frames. We love those frames. Is right. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And then you want action, action focus? Action focus, yeah. Okay. What's the difference no, here? No, you must to that game. Oh. Just yeah, so you know. Yeah, go press action focus. Let's go down. Oh, there we go. You have to collect it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And it gives you like an all good. Hey, this is your sort of settings. Are you sure you want this? Okay. Let's do it. Are you sure this is your shipping address? That sort of menu. Oh, item. man. I love when they double check my shipping address for me. Who's that guy? Is that really you? In the light of crystals. Crystals. <laughs> he just said it, bro. Is this light? I finally let our forefathers out of the dark. Man, we should find a way to fucking just mute the game. Yeah, this is awesome. Yeah, yeah. I mean, temptation. Should get should get in the game. That's I mean, that's the coolest moment I've ever had in gaming yeah. right there. That's awesome. Oh, also, look Start at these gigantic bang, monsters brother. here. Yeah. System seller, Mike. Okay, so now here's the deal, boys. I'm seeing a lot of trailers. It seems like they're really pushing these big monsters. Is yep. that the, is that the yep. sell here for this these game? Are big baddies? Uh, I would say maybe pick up the controller. Yeah. Okay, wow, because maybe. This game, this game is going to make you play right from the off. Okay, okay. So what you've got here is a battle between two kind of well-known summons. Yeah, oh in this game, they're called icons. Phoenix and the Icon of Fire. If you breathe. Kind of getting some Lord of the Rings vibes here. Remember yeah. when oh, Gandalf went down? Oh, you know, bro. You're about yes. to see even oh, more Oh, Fireball, reference. I'm up. I'm up. We're getting a lot of support in Twitch, by the oh, way. Oh, thank you. Danielle Z, you gifted 10. Dr. Blade gifted in 5. Appreciate you, Dr. Blade and Danielle oh, Z. Yes. Merkel Maniac also took the This thing is you. grinding down the side of the mountaintop, just so everybody knows. Yeah. And just Big shred, Head Eyes. Just shredding the gnar right there. 21 shred months from the Big gnar, Head Gnar, Gnar. Gosh, Ben, you get it, Ben. He you just get it. it. Also, I want to announce we have hit 10. Okay. Woo! Thank you, out, thank you everybody. Out, Zelda that. stream tomorrow. You just dodged that. You're really I did. I did. Thank you. This is a. This is a pretty amazing way to start right yeah, here. Look at this. Look oh, at this. this shot right here. This shot. Oh! Oh my god. Wow, this is cool. The Balrog and Gandalf falling into the fucking chasm. Thanks for subbing. Also, so can score is oh incredible. EBB81 just gifted 20 subs. Jesus! Thank you. Thank you. I love this Thank transition. You. I love it. Call me Ishmael just gifted a gifted sub. Get out of town. Look at that. That's right. Mike. Into his eyeball, too, y'all. Yeah. It was all happening in his eyeball. Yeah. It's like in Men in Black when the he whole world is in that. Yes. <laughs> yes. 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 And the cat's, cat's necklace, yeah. Thank you, GBB. And call me Ishmael. Very, very supportive. You're the realm, y'all. The Dalmikian Republic. These are two good-looking dudes right here. I mean, show me an ugly dude in Final Fantasy, and I'll show you somebody who doesn't exist. Yeah. <laughs> It'll be light soon. It'll be 
light soon. Oh my God. Those camps are now, do you know everybody in this scene? You know all these names, all the voice actors. I, I know some of them, yeah, not okay. And only the dominant. That's actually I can't say who it is yet because it's been announced. But that's actually a very well known TV actor. Oh, wow. You've seen in a lot of stuff. Okay. Really, really actor. The girl will be among them. Our kind do not question orders. Is it Barry? Follow them. Try to keep that in mind. That's his, no, that's not. This is. He's done, He's done a lot of stuff, and I was like, holy crap, he got this guy. Let's get this done. I like that they all have matching face tattoos. Yeah. So the face so the face tattoos are um, basically, it means you are branded, which means you have the ability to use magic without the power of the crystals. And so they are seen as less than human. Oh, no way. Yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah. So okay. you're celebrated. You're, you are basically feared and reduced to nothing but a slave, essentially. And these are mercenaries for hire. Oh, that's bad. Let's get that tattoo, man. That's bad. I was going to say, can we get matching yeah. face tattoo and I? Mm. Too Let's bad we can't go on right epic now, adventures brother. like this, you know? Is it Tom Cruise? Ask Big Head Isaac. Is that the voice? Is oh, is it TC? Guy? Oh, my it gosh. It amazing. Sorry, it's, it's Imagine. Tom Cruise. <laughs> also, all of the bastards, as they're called, Team Bastards, okay. is their name. They all have names of famous... Um, Yes, sir. Basically, dragons essentially from Final Fantasy. So you've got Wyvern, oh. Tiamat, Avis, oh. Biast. Thank oh. you, Leo the Collector, for okay. your $2 super, super chat. That's what they're calling me. I'm the Wyvern. Hmm? That's Wyvern. Wyvern, yeah. So your code okay, name okay. is Wyvern. Well, that's my code name. Okay, yeah. okay. Yes. Tip menu. I mean, these guys will guide me for anything. Vince Patel I need says to know. just two best friends with matching face tattoos. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> two best friends, two best friends. <laughs> Everybody loves that. Just expect a phone call. Andy, I'm outside. Get in the car. We're going to get matching face tattoos. Yeah. <laughs> Leave me alone. Wake up. Wake up. <laughs> it's 2 a.m. Really, really yeah. excited about this one, y'all. Got a little jump button. Okay. We're just in time. Okay, I'm going to make you do something now. Okay. Which is press the, um, the face pad. Okay. Hold it. Holding it. This is the active time law, so if you press circle to close, okay. what you have here is anywhere in the game, even in cut sequences, you can activate active time law, um, which basically tells you about everything that's happening in the game, just about really, really short, like one paragraph sentences. So you click on there, it tells you what's happening at this point in time, and this happens with the entirety of the game, which I think is really cool. And that is actually really cool, okay. So it means that like the story can basically flow at its own pace, and you don't have to have characters explaining, well, this is the reason that we're here doing this thing. It's like assumed knowledge, go in, but it's also really easy and digestible. And, and you, come, you, know you about come this? back and, oh yeah, this, this is, is like, cool. The, that's the... The biggest takeaway that me and Tim and Michael Hyam had at the at our preview when we went to LA was like this every game needs this. Yeah. That's sweet. We were comparing it to Amazon X ray. When when you're watching a show on Amazon, you I pause love. and it shows you who's in the scene and what they're from. You That's know? a great comparison. That's a great way of saying it, yeah. Oh man, they're on the birds. Check yeah, that out. That's them. They're on the Big birds. roosters, Mike. So who do we got battling right now? Who are we seeing? So I think you've got the Dalmechians. Okay. Yeah. Oh, great call. Great call. Ooh. So you've got the Men of the Fist and the Iron Crusade right there. Oh, look at that. It's telling me right then and there if I need to know. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Look at that. How about that, man? This is impressive. This is very impressive. Dr. Blade says those birds. Those hey, birds. look at them for them birds. And also you can hear it in as the um, Final Fantasy theme. That. Yes, yes. These are blood and more beast than man. The soundtrack in this game Why is, this is not it's ridiculous. Because the demo ends a bit before where our preview period. Mm -hmm. We got to play extra uh, during the preview period. Oh, okay, okay. Remember, we got to play for like six hours. We were there all damn day. How long is this demo? Two hours? Yeah. Around well, that's, pre that's impressive. And this is way, really where you get kind of like the, this is heavy, heavy story opening up, introducing you to the world and the characters. Okay. Quickly, move. What do you mean? Now the demo could be longer if you just pause and look at your dude Did the whole time. Super, super jacked. Mm -hmm. All these people. Come now. Marshal, 
The king of Walud is our guest. Mm -hmm. Walud. Mm. I've been wondering how to freaking pronounce that yeah. this whole time. Oh, wow. Look at this jabroni. Yeah. Holy cow. Barnabas, voiced by the amazing David Menken. And you have his uh, voice of Breach and Valorant. Hey, I was going to okay. say, that's Chris Angel right there. The mind freak. Chris Angel mind freak. <laughs> So in this world, crystals basically are where all of humanity gets its power from. Okay. All magic and all energy is channeled through crystals, but people like Benedicta here, they can channel magic without the power of the crystals. They are seen as more powerful. So got, this has got some cool stuff going on. It's like when you meet a you, you meet a girl on, on Tinder or Bumble or something, mm -hmm. Mike, and she's got all these crystals in her home. Oh, you know, like, oh. using them. The well, what kind of powers are you working with? You know? Life force is coming yeah. out of these crystals. Was it not? Or am I mistaken? Also, very cool pipe. You know what I mean? Yeah, Smoking yeah. a very cool pipe. You think she's got that Lacron James in there? <laughs> you remember what I said? That photo? <laughs> you know, Square Enix is gonna sell that merch, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh man, I've got to, right? Got to. Perhaps you have not heard, but the Iron Blood now have their own dominant. We would be fools to underestimate them. Bugger their knights. This what guy. did you say? Oh, here comes the, the big largest guy. skull of all time. You see this motherfucker? Should this citadel be allowed to fall? He says, "Sit down, fool." The capital will lie exposed. It's massive arms. This is like the mountain and the hounds type <laughs> of deal, you know what I mean? <laughs> will wait for the good king's pawns you put this guy in the low block, Mike? The oh. He's gonna get you a good double-double every night. So he's big time in the king here, though. What's his deal? Is he not his homie? He's not his right-hand man? He is the um, the senior tactician in this army. He me. just happens to be the dominant of Titan. Oh, and we will see him summon his icon the very soon, very, very soon. The day they set foot on storm. This is a world about where there are few people who have the ability to um, basically embody these giant beasts that are these weapons of mass destruction that can be used as terrifying weapons and destroy and kill everyone. And they tend to not do that because so many people would die. She is also a dominant, and she's the dominant of Garuda. So oh. The Warden of the Winds. She's a giant bird lady, essentially. I'll read the super chat here in a second, Cock. but I just had to hear the <laughs> cock line. Benedictum. So these two are bad. Oh, they're bone. banging, yeah. yeah. I don't know how, like... They got the power. The biology works here. Does the lion take care when he chases the hare? Or do you think me one of the latter? Look, his skull is the size of her torso. It's crazy. Mm. It's crazy. You are a lion. It is a cool I'm start, I gotta say. Mm. You know, last time I played a Final Fantasy the game, me and the boys, we were in a car. First. And we were just whipping around, you know what I mean? <laughs> this is a different vibe. Want to warm me when I come home. And also, why do the characters look so freaking good? These guys are talented. Robert right Griffin, ten dollars super chat says, "Hey Ben, as an actor, were there any cool souvenirs you got to keep from working on the game? Oh, and great job on KFGD. Yeah, loads of cool souvenirs. They've given me loads of free stuff. My house is now just full. Of yeah, Final Fantasy. <laughs> that's dope. <laughs> that's really dope. Yeah, yeah." Chaos will conceal us. I'm, I think at some point I'm just gonna end up auctioning it off for charity because I've got so much Final Fantasy, like exclusive <laughs> Final Fantasy <laughs> 16 stuff, and I might just like sign it or get the cast to sign it and then sell yeah. it off for a good cause. Love I don't need that much stuff. I right? love the idea of like all your cutlery, like all your knives, yeah. or, like the just Buster stuff sword. in my house. Yeah. 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 Stuff you in got my little house. tiny Buster swords yeah, yeah, yeah. knives. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was in the Square Enix offices yesterday and they gave me like a Crisis Core jacket and like a Stranger of Paradise hoodie. Nice. And I was like. Thank you. That's what you say. So Robin, save That's carry right. over. Yes, the save carries over in the deck. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Love That's positive that. for me then. Me and the boys, the bastard squad. Yeah. We get in the, the car in a second. Don't worry. <laughs> I was gonna say, what, what's yeah. up? So, we, what's the timeline of Final Fantasy? Why was I in a car with these guys, and now these guys different. look like we're in medieval? You know, it's, it's all standalone. <laughs> Is it really? Yeah. yeah. Oh, this, okay. There's no connection to That's any other Final voice. Fantasy. That's amazing. Oh, okay. Now Take this is cool. If you haven't seen anything up to this point, I imagine this is quite a cool thing to watch. I haven't seen any of this stuff. Well, here we go. All gonna be vibes to me. Wait. Something's not right.
fucking bald head guy. Come on, dude! So the Dalmax finally grew tired of being slaughtered. Oh yeah, they called him out. Called him out. <laughs> and look who's here to greet the bastard. Who is it? Shiva. One of the iconic kind of summons from Final Fantasy lore. And so they've okay. taken these iconic summons and basically introduced a, a handful of them who are the dominant, who are the iconic as well. Shiva is one of the most famous. And here, Shiva is being used as a weapon of war. So Whoa. sick. So sick. Whoa! Damn. The music transitions insane. Yeah. Okay, here comes the big guy. He's just stomping on people. Also, in oh, he's gonna smush that lady. It's a classic tale, Mike. Uh, you know, uh, David and Goliath, Jack and the Beanstalk, taking down the big beanstalk. Oh, how cool is this? Okay. Looks good. This demo is selling me right now. Really getting me excited. Three feet, dude. Shut up, three feet. Now, will his girlfriend show up, though, and assist him? Or is she like, nope. yo, I got battle lines. I don't show up to help. Well, it also takes a massive toll on the um, dominance when they summon their icon. Okay. So it actually takes a toll on their body. So they want to do it as as little as possible. Smart. So it can essentially, if they do it too much, it could kill them. Mike, think like, uh, think like Deku using his powers all yes. the time early on. As he's he breaking his it. arms all the time. Yeah. Oh man. Arms are all maroon and gross and bruised. Skidstain, thanks for 23 months, is here for the hair. Oh, thank you, Skidstain. Oh, yeah, and he looks great. My name is Andres Cortezio. Oh, better frame rate here. Yeah, Casino, I agree. Well, I mean, the cutscenes are 30. The cutscenes are locked to 30. And the game switches over. Now, Ben, for you, will you cosplay as your character now? Yep. Definitely. Is that, is that a Hell major yeah. goal? Yeah, yeah. I don't know when I'm going to do it, but I want to do it. Kind That's of. awesome. What is it? Well, how can you not, you know? You right. have to. You got to. He, when he looks that cool. Maybe Andy could cos cosplay with me. That would be, he'd be part of the bastard squad, right? Yeah. I'd be down. I'll be Sidolphus. I made a joke. I made a joke with Yoshi P um, that he should cosplay as Clive and I should cosplay as Torgo. That would be incredible. <laughs> yeah, I really want to kind of like come on in packs. Like he's like fully dressed as Clive, and I'm, there's like a person in a really bad Torgo outfit, and it's just me, and I remove the head. That's awesome. Lord Starscream, 44 months. Thank you so much, Lord Starscream, for your support. Also, thank you everyone for watching. Yes. Oh, he asked. Dead. See a BS. No. Yeah, just crushed by a boulder. Big old rock. That's tough. Okay, my squad's not looking too good after yeah, this. Yeah, things are kind of rough right now, Mike. Now one of them's back though. Wyvern. Wyvern. My favorite part of this game was me just doing all of the um, Clive's knocked out breathing. Oh, okay. He like. <laughs> Did they just sneak into your room while you were like snoring? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I just gave them a key. Yeah. When I, they saw the talk They're like, "Can we get a copy of your key?" I'm like, "Why? No, no reason." When I'm out, just come in, just bringing that yeah. recording uh, yeah. equipment. Kumar, just... thank you for the super chat. Ten dollars or uh, five ten Indian rupees says, "I like the research done by the developers for the game. Brings a horrific oh. impact of the real life outbreaks." Thank you so much. Oh. Yeah, I agree. At five dollars from Ballers Only, this is Final Fantasy a good one to start with. I never played one before. Yeah, uh, they're all standalone, so yes, they are all good ones to start off with. That's wild. Let this be the first one because you don't need to know anything. All the stuff I'm telling you is kind of peripheral information, but if yeah, you're meant to go into this one completely fresh. You don't need to know anything. It's a story on itself. Okay. This is our guy right here. This is us. Yeah. Oh exactly. man. This is him 13 years previous to where we had him before. Say I didn't see the face tap. 
I'm sure he'd find a way. Amicia! So this is the this is Logan Hannon and Charlotte McBurney, both from a plague tale. Yep. There was Andy. Amicia! Amicia! That's Torgal, by the way, Mike. Cutest dog ever. Get out of town. Yeah. We simply won't. I thought you were talking about the frog from Star Wars. <laughs> yeah. Torgal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When we left the thought. preview, we, like, Michael Hyam tweeted out, Torgal is better than Turgal. Amicia! Let's start again from the beginning. Come, show me your form. <laughs> Amicia, I don't want to summon the icon, Amicia. Okay. Here we go. Here's where the combat comes So we're in, not like talking turn-based like I always think of Final oh, Fantasy. No, oh, no, yeah. We're cranking this time, up. Brother. Okay. It's just like your road trip, boys. Yeah, yeah they had. That they were different. Well. I liked that. Yeah, yeah. I also switched to Souls-like. Instead of the square and whatever yeah, it's going to be? Yeah. Really? That's cool they give an option. There's a, there's, yeah. There's three options, I think. Yeah. So for controls. And Souls Like gives you circle dodge as well. How many hours were you in the booth for this? Because Final Fantasy games are big, yeah, right? Yeah, hundreds. Um, hundreds, wow. Hundreds, hundreds, yeah. I think over the years it was is it was very much in the multiple hundreds of hours. Years? Yeah, four years I worked on this. Holy cow, everybody. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah, my life, man. That's amazing, dude. Wow. L1 to lock on also. Yeah, I nailed it. Crash it. Now, yeah, I like this. Now, were you in the booth in person, or of course, yeah. was some of that during there. COVID? Always were you at there. home? Never, okay. never recorded it from home because we had um, we had these head cams on that would basically record our. You see that they get mm -hmm. our lips, so yeah, they would use that. They'd put my facial movements onto Clive's face. Prowess. Prowess. On your toes, Lord Ross. On your toes. Okay. This is one of the most satisfying things about the game, is precision dodging. Is. That's Andy right there. Move only when you must. If you do it at the right time, though, you get the little... Yeah. Wait so wait until the last minute. Oh, one second till they give it to me. No. I get excited. I get a little nervous. Yeah, you know? he's too good. Have you been oh. playing that Liza P? You've been trampling. So much Liza, Liza P. How is Liza P? Is it good? Amazing. Tell him, Andy. It's good. Amazing. It's very good. I like. I am just so blown away by the quality of it. Really? Are you into yeah. Souls games? Yeah, I mean, yeah. You know I mean, I did, what do you think um, about them? Uh, Elden Ring got the platinum on that last year. Wow. Bloodborne, Sekiro. I've actually never played uh, a, like a Dark Souls one, two, or three. I've only ever played oh, the ones snap. that are Dark Souls. Okay. But yeah, I was a sorcerer in Elden Ring, uh, just like throwing pebbles at people for about twenty hours before Come I actually on, had any pebbles. Yeah, let's just go. Steez the source. That's all I did, Ben. I yeah, feel it. It was good. I was pretty bad at it, but I loved it. Well, I'm waiting. Yeah, Liza P is the real deal. It's the first time I've played a Souls-like, not made by From Software, that. I feel like a is like a genuine must play if you're into Souls like. Yeah. Um, DJ Kento. Yes, I was in Jamestown. That was that was where I met my fiance. Um, so I am actually engaged to oh, Naomi, who plays Jocelyn in Jamestown. Look at that, Kento. So, That's cool. You Thank you for your five dollars super chat. We met. We met on the job. Yeah. Thank you to Cooper for the two dollars super chat. Says Ben, did you record at Side LA by chance? I did not. I re everything was recorded hmm. in the UK. So um, all the cast are English, and um, yeah, it's, it was all a, a UK-based recording. That's cool. Okay. Mumagu Gaming says loving Nick's makeover for this, and the British accent is improving. Nick, mm, you mean Nick. Nick. No, it's just your VAT transform. Oh, yes, gotcha. Yes, yes. Gotcha. Thank you. Now, once you get the ring that gives you auto heal, that's just what I do. Yeah. Oh, is that what's going on here? You get a ring? Okay. Eventually, you'll get, like, little rings that, you know, That's hey, this will, uh, uh... You could get a ring that can make a certain attack stronger, or you can get a ring that will auto-heal you if you get low. Okay. I prefer that. It's probably not the best thing, but mm -hmm. I like not having to think about it. Have all these games looked this good? 
Oh my god, yeah. Final, Final Fantasy, Fantasy, they got it like this? Yeah. Oof. You've recovered from your soaking, I trust. You want to kick a man while he's did you ever play the MMO? 14. Yeah, I did. I played. Yeah, we I did. That. Yeah, I played A Realm Reborn in 2013 when it came out, and I went all the way up to the end. But I never came back for Heavenswood, which is ironic because the entire Heavenswood team basically worked on this one. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I promised. I promised Yoshi P that I will go back and play it. And I've I've, I've met so many amazing let's go, Final Fantasy streamers who have said that they will help me through the game. So mm, nice. I love that. Shout out to Tiffany Lockhart if she's if she's watching at some point. But she just went, "Oh, I'm giving you an Uber all the way through." So. <laughs> Annie, how long did the hair take? About 15 minutes, because I did it after our meeting today before Game Daily, or while Game Daily was still on. Yeah. Oh yeah, that perfect it. feels good. Is right. This is cool looking. And this is what the combat will be like, because this is yeah. great. Oh, it, it, this is the beginning of the combat. Yeah, it gets way better. That was cool adding that big attack right there with the arm. Now you can do that. No, never mind. You don't have the second ability yet, but still it's cool. And that's like a recharge cooldown type thing. Yeah. So really, what you're doing is chip damage here to kind of like his will, and then you've got to wait until your cooldowns finish, and then you can just use your iconic abilities at the right time. I've been deep in that. Deep, <laughs> that Dunzo. deep in the li lies of P right now. I'm hot on that Dunzo. <laughs> PJ Bernardo, yes. I. It wasn't actually that hard uh, to do. I was a bit nervous about it because you want to kind of still make this. This moment has to be as believable as possible. But okay. Um, yes, I. There's always a challenge, a technical challenge, but instead of it being like, oh my god, he has to sound like he's 15, it was like, how do we make Clive sound like um, he hasn't been through all the... that bullshit? <laughs> yeah, right? It's that. Okay. And then, so you're imagining, you know, you see him at the beginning of the game and he's clearly very different to where he is now. How texturally does that, does that change? So that was the focus of it. Back to your drills. I told you he could do it. And will there be love, betrayal? You know, all the things that I want to see out of something like this. Is that, will I go on like, that I'm journey? I'm so glad you're playing the demo right now. You know what I mean? exactly what you're about to like, watch. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Am I going to find love? Am yeah. I going to be betrayed? You're in the movie theater right now <laughs> asking me shit about the movie you're watching. Yeah. Motherfucker, just watch. <laughs> I, think, I, know, I think people like the demo because that's exactly what it does. It's yeah. a distillation of kind of maybe some of the themes of this game. Okay. Phoenix's flames are a gift. You mustn't waste them. That kiddo hit me with it. My shields look after me. Why shouldn't I? <laughs> That's why. Oh. That's why. Can't be using them powers, bro. Really? Not okay. all the time, like that. You shouldn't be outdoors. I'll be fine. It's just a cold. Don't push yourself. Hair looks great. Look at that. Yeah. yeah. Just flowing. Father's back. Hey. Nice boy, Joshua. And just massive season one, episode one, Game of Thrones vibes, yeah. Yes. I would gladly brave hell itself to see my darling boy. Gentlemen, Rosaria thanks you for your indefatigable loyalty. Good word. Thank you. Your grace, we live to serve. What was the hardest word for you on set? The hardest word. Yeah, where you like, run it back, I didn't get it. <laughs> run it back again. What, what was know, a couple of them? It's usually not like words in particular. It's usually like words joined together. Okay. And I just I can't remember what they were, but there were many occasions where I came out of sessions thinking, am I the worst actor? In <laughs> Good day to you. Why can't I read? <laughs> so Annabella's an interesting character in this. She's, this is Clive's mother. Okay. And she hates him. Come, Joshua. Oh. Your father will Imagine that, growing up to 15 years old and your mother makes no show of absolutely despising you. Mm. Straight up mommy though, for real. Your grace. Amicia. Little bro, is that the little brother then? Yeah. yeah. We're all connected here? Little bro, bro. What about this girl? Sister? She's like a homie, a family homie. friend type okay. of thing right now. Phoenix. 
So little, yeah, little brother born the phoenix. You're just like the. Join them. Not important. Yeah, he was. Uh, Clive was meant to inherit the power of the phoenix, and for some reason he didn't. Oh. Um, and it went to his younger brother. So to his mother, he is essentially nothing and worthless. Oh yeah, hold the touchpad, Mike. Hold the touchpad. Oh. There you go. Look at that. Yeah, let's see what's up with. Uh... Let's see what's up with Jill. What's up with Jill? Oh, she was born a princess. She's a ward now. Gosh, man. She was raised alongside Clive and Joshua, who came to love her as a sister. Yeah, I love that. Now let's see what mom says, because people in chat like the mom stuff is very okay. disturbing. She adores the younger son. She treats Clive and Jill with uh, not, but thinly veiled contempt. Mm. Okay, okay. A jerk. Okay. Just an absolute jerk, you know. What's up with my guy Rodney? Rodney. Yeah. <laughs> What's up with Rodney? That's what I want to know. I just hear, I just hear the, the Dream on Green interview talking about Rodney McGruder. <laughs> this guy Rodney. This is cool. I mean, this is nice, right? Like, yeah, chat, way to pull that one back. Just to be able to do that is really cool. Mm. And then at any time, that's dope. Yeah, it's really cool. And also, like, later on, as the game goes on, you can actually go to a person called Lawsman Harpocrates, mm. who can update you on things that you've already learned. So you can just go and it's called updating the tomes, and there will be this amazing, like, um, little pixel version of Clive that you see. And, like, a little bar goes on, like an old leveling up bar, and you can learn more and more about the world. I didn't know the birds came in different colors. They do. I thought they were always yellow. I'm not going to lie to everybody. I thought they were yellow. That's awesome. the number one takeaway from my right, just say friends. now before we even get introduced to this guy can i can i learn about him right now no, no, no not yet not yet no, no, calm down yet. it's like in a subtitles you see question marks you know, oh just okay thank you joshua or it says like stranger you are well addressed yes father much better that's oh, dad today june and i went to the bay to watch clive spa is that so Hi, little perrito. Stop it, boy. Not now. To do my job for Square Enix, you can purchase a Toggle plushie right now. Yeah, oh, wow. my gosh. Get it. out of town. You can. You can get him in old and young and worth every penny. So, See, if I'm a... Look, if I... It, if I'm Ben up there in the goddamn recording studio, I'm uh -huh. like, look, I'm a method actor. I need to hold a little puppy yeah. right, with, in my need arms it. right now in order to deliver these lines. I did. I actually brought my own dog in. <laughs> oh, Genuinely, awesome. I brought my own that. dog Milton in. Yeah, so a lot of these lines I deliver to little Milton, who's a little Yorkshire Terrier. Is the situation truly so grave? Come to the throne room. We will talk there. Yes, father. Okay, so Dad's got some respect for me. Yeah. It looks like. Maybe let's hold the touchpad now. What does it say? Yeah, really. Oh, yeah, I mean, we want to go right yeah, here. You know what I mean? We are. Yeah. Come on, brother. Oh, faithful friend. Okay. Rescue, dude. And so you said young and old. Yeah. Available right now. Yeah. How big? Are we talking? Pre-ordering. Um, so the talking really big. Um, I've actually got a video of me holding them on stage. Oh. For the, um, uh, for the live presentation. We okay. Had, we had the live launch event. And oh. I went up on stage because I really wanted to touch the plushies. And there was a big camera crew there, like, projecting onto all the screens. And I didn't know I was being filmed. And I put little Toggle on my shoulder. And I held the big Toggle plushie. And it's about this okay. big. Okay. And I just dropped little Toggle off the stage. No. And there is a live video of me dropping this, this no. plushie just <laughs> off the stage. Oh, no. And the horror on my face of, like, <laughs> this, like, limited edition merchandise that I've just dropped. <laughs> Square will never allow me on stage again. But, yeah, get them. They're amazing. This is cool. All right. Yeah. But Dad's got the love. Yep. He's bringing the love. Because also I think Elwyn understands that kind of sense of inadequacy that Clive feels because El Elwyn doesn't feel like he was deserving of taking the throne. He's so cute. Where do you think you're going? Hmm? Reminds me of... Little Diamond Dog action in Metal Gear Solid. Oh Five. man, what a time that was! Also, Diamond Dog was—he was—he was so overpowered in Metal Gear Solid. Five. <laughs> yeah. like, DD. He was the perfect teammate. I'll yeah. tell you what—you know who wasn't quiet. I'm willing to say it, Andy. Okay. Yours, yeah. Ben, quiet, quiet did not help me you. at all. I wouldn't all. really bring quiet on missions. Yeah, thanks, Ben. You know. I hate you. Yeah. Dude. Well, he was quiet. Like you, quiet was your one. Yeah, quiet was just sniping everybody out, scouting spots yeah. for me. It's great. So you can look around the world, you can listen to concerts for conversations, but I think for the purposes of story, mm -hmm. we should probably just head yeah, to the let's get to the red, red spot. Like that. Okay. 
Finding items. I got an item. I got a potion, y'all. Oh, it's, it's the red spot. Let's run it out. Different color. Can't go up there. You gotta go through these. Oh, little... yeah, we gotta go through. Okay. Is this the run animation or is there a faster sprint? Is this, this is like the current this run is us? Okay, you like can that. run faster later in the game, but for the okay. purposes of right now, yeah. He's only 15, goddammit. Mm. The sprint happens when you have a lot of runway okay. automatically. It's not a button click. It's like you'll be running at that speed and the game kind of recognizes, mm. oh, you can keep mm. on going faster. So then you kind of like, poof, it kind of unlocks a faster thing. This also shows you the relationship of what bearers are in this world. Good as new. Oh man, he's got the tap. Yep. Yep. With this car. Bow to him, you fool. I say to speak. Sick tap, bro. It was no trouble. Really. Oh, do not indulge him. To be allowed to stand in your lordship's presence is more than his kind deserves. Why? Neither the Empire nor the Republic treat their bearers half so well. He was lucky to be born in your father's dominion. Damn, I should have drawn the freaking tattoo. Be right back. <laughs> I saw someone actually tweeted me who actually got a tattoo. That tattoo. Not on their face, but got it on mm. their face. Uh, okay, that's cool. But if someone would like to get it on their face, please do it. Ta tweet at me. I wouldn't. I might retweet it. <laughs> I trust his good fortune will continue. Of course, if that is your lordship's wish. Oh, he said, take care of that guy. Mm hmm. But so that means what? That guy's got magical powers, right? He does. And we're in a nation where if you have this power, people have chosen to fear it. And so they enslave them and make them do things. So you'll see when you come up into the next section, you'll see people doing various chores around the castle. And Rosaria is actually seen as a place that has quite a lenient relationship with bearers. It's like X-Men, Mike. Yep. Oh. What a great one. Uh, Waluigi or Will Luigi says, Ben Star, I love you. Seriously, thank you and the team so much. Oh, man, that's oh, awesome. thanks, man. Thank you. Um, ben, have I met my Japanese counterpart? Did I answer that already? No, I haven't. Oh, yeah, I yeah, haven't that's met a my Japanese question. counterpart. Um, so, yeah, I. Y'all should just face off to like, a cool little photo op. <laughs> Polly Jub Jub, nine months of support. Using Prime on us. Thank you for using your Prime here on the Kind of Funny Games Twitch channel. There's Joshua. Joshua. Hello, little one. I have to go to the red marker. Yeah, just go to the red marker. There's mom. She oh, there's hates my you. Mom, she doesn't mom like didn't us. even want to talk to me. Yeah. No. Also, she just starts dissing me as I get close. It's a bit like, you could have waited till later. I'm right here. <laughs> felt that. Felt that adaptive right there. Yeah, you felt that? Yeah. yeah. Power of the PlayStation 5 right there. <laughs> With the DualSense controller, you can really feel You can the feel that door. <laughs> oh, that's cute. Yeah, you the team actually went around all of Europe and just opened as many doors as possible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right sense of opening it. That perfect tension. Yeah. Christian JPEG, $5 Super Chat, says, I'm literally going to buy a PS5 for this game. I cannot wait to play. Oh. Just want to ask if you are, we're on performance mode right now. Performance Christian mode. JPEG. Which is 30 frames per second during cutscenes, 60 through the rest of the game. Oh, okay. Or targeting 60. Because mm. I know people are going to correct me. Again. All right, you can stop licking my boots. My mother isn't here. Your mom, by the way, is super shitty, huh? <laughs> if I'm the dad, that's what I'm talking to the son about. What's up with mom, huh? <laughs> Dad's got some great hair, though. Great hair. Great hair. In just these few moons, the blight has taken nigh on all of the northern reaches. It is only a matter of time before it crosses the border. Ben, did you do motion capture or just VO? We did facial capture and VO for okay. it. So um, a lot of the uh, motion capture was done in uh, Japan with jo um, Japan Japanese motion capture actors and then uh, in Hungary as well. Um, and we would see the um, people walking around and then we would have this thing on our face and that's what you see. So this is my face. Wow. We have traded blows with them for too long. It is time to end it. At the very least, we must secure Drake's breath. Drizzy. Without the blessing of the We're going to war. We cannot defend our realm from the spread of the blight. 
Sometimes I come in just to do facial capture, so I actually no speaking, just to kind of get Clive's reaction to stuff. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, the attention to detail was, was intense. There we will listen to the words of our ancestors, as tradition dictates. Am I to go with you as Joshua's shield? Now, there is something else I would have you do first. There are scenes in the game that are not fully using your face caps yep. and there's th those are using like the procedural sort of animation yep. stuff do they have that thing that they have a lot of animators and or actors do where you recite a couple of sentences that kind of cover every mouth sound and mouth shape yeah. or whatever oh, yes yeah, we do really? that as well yeah okay I have a quick question is it, is it possible to pause this for a second so we can just tomorrow the automatic gain stuff so it's not catching this little breeze can you on Discord? Um, sure. Andy's on it. Chad, are you hearing this sound that at all? Andy, or? let us know. Oh, I'm just trying to clean it up a little bit. Sorry. Look good right there. Yeah, we can do that. All right. Perfect. Thanks. Let's mm -hmm. get back to the story because I'm lost in it right now. Search it and clear it. Then you will join us at Phoenix Gate. Also, we have hit extra thirty minutes. I'm, Thank you. I'm part of this family, everybody. I'm part of this crew. Bird person, Rick. Thanks for 20 months of support. Your strength and shut your mother up for good. Hmm? <laughs> Great job on KFGD, Ben. Thank you, Bird person, Rick. Mm. Thank you for watching. I will do my duty, Your Grace. Also, Clive speaks incredibly formally in this section. That was like one thing we really wanted to come across is that like he's very unsure of himself and kind of wearing the the, the appearance of him mm. being this character. He's quite unsure of himself. So you can see he's very formal. He doesn't really know when to not be formal. And so he's quite stiff and stilted in the way that he speaks. I like that. So if you go up behind the throne, yeah, okay. this way up the vine. Well, I'll tell you what, this is lonely. You know what I mean? One chair. Get out of town. Yeah. Man. It's no life. Where, where's my friends at, you know? Yeah. Is there like a little water cooler somewhere? <laughs> There's like something to hang out at. A little TV up with ESPN kind of running <laughs> like you're in a doctor's office. Ben, what do you like to do on your off time? Are you an ESPN guy? Are you watching some anime? What do you, what do you like to do on your off time? Um, I love I love sports, so I love but like UK based sports, so like uh, some football yeah mm -hmm. yeah so soccer rugby like cricket brownies, yeah. um like cricket really yeah i'd time. like to see cricket i'd like to understand cricket i've Dude, never seen it and i want to understand it. it's amazing yeah it's i mean some people say it's not amazing but i've loved it and we've actually got the ashes starting soon which is the like the very important competition between like their big majors yeah, or something. england oh. against australia it's a very Ooh. iconic battle titanic battle time? between two is nations. it icon spelled uh yeah e i k o n yeah <laughs> <laughs> and you will be taking Joshua. Well, I can't exactly leave him behind, can I? The blood of the Rosfields runs in his veins. Before going to war, we perform the rite at Phoenix Gate. It's our way. You know that. And only the dominant can enter the apotetry, so yes. I'm taking Another Joshua. good word, apotetry. Oh, mm -hmm. with your way. The boy is ill. You think I don't know that? We gotta take the kid. But the boy is also the phoenix. The heir to the throne. He's the phoenix? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. To the little kid. So like when I was falling down the hole, that was a phoenix? Yep. yep. Don't Just worry. wanna let everybody That's know. That's shit. Click, click now. I'm thinking he's a kid that has the power of an icon. Mm -hmm. And he's very sick. He's already a fine soldier. He will make a splendid shield. You see more in him than the Phoenix did. He was rejected, Elwyn. Our household has no place for such a failure. He is worthless, a man like any other. As am I, my dear. Hey, he came out of you, lady, all right? Nonsense. Be a jerk. You are the Archduke of Rosaria. Oh, Blame yourself. Mm. You know as well as I do that I only sit upon the throne because my father was taken before his time. I am merely warming the seat till Joshua comes of age. You are your father's firstborn son, and you sit upon the throne. All is in its right place. Unlike some, you have not disgraced our noble blood. 
without men like I can fix your mic. Yeah. That's crazy. He was like, yo, Precious check yourself really quick. Would long since have graced the gutter. Andy, I think you could be the man to fix her. Mm -hmm. I believe so. He yeah. would be. You just turn up looking like that with that hair. Mm -hmm. I don't support a premiership team, by the way. Um, oh, who do you I, I don't. I, I grew up in Bristol, so anyone who knows that knows that we don't really have a great football team. Mm, okay. uh, but I just love watching Match of the Day on a Saturday. Mm. Oh, nothing better. No, you love it. Don't yeah. Stop. Favorite stadium to go to, though? This is it, then. Um, Wembley Stadium is just the best. Wishing on a star. Jason Joan, thanks for your $5 super chat. Thanks, Jace. Also, shout out to Charlotte McBurney in the scene. She's amazing. I should get some sleep. Right. I like that little red star in the distance. Mm. That's Metia. It's cool. I am Joshua's shield. I'm sworn to protect him. He takes too many risks. I only wish I could save him from himself. Clive, you... I'd never let you be my shield, Mike. I mean... I have another mission too. I might be. I might get lost. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Nick will make for a great. I'm Michael shield. Rexford Howell's <laughs> shield, and I go out there like, the fuck did he go? <laughs> Why is he gone? Did he leave without me? <laughs> now you bring up the red star you talked about. Are there like small pieces like this that maybe tie into other Final Fantasies, or will it always be? Everything is standalone. Or are there like small pieces where you're like, hey, you'll that's recognize. from this thing. You'll, you know? re you'll recognize nods to games. Like Final Fantasy V has been a huge influence on this. But okay. you don't need to know any of that. Everything okay. here is new. The entire world is new. All the lore is new. It's all in its own context. And so it takes mm. familiar ideas for people and kind of recontextualizes them for a completely new story. So if you've never played one before, it's kind of the best time to come into. But also for other fans, they're going, oh, I recognize that. I recognize this nod to this yeah. game or this recognize to 10 or 5 or 9. No. So, yeah. It's common that everybody makes a wish to the star. Let's all make a wish really quick. Everybody buy your hands. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I wish okay. Mike would leave me alone. I, was just ask, I, I wish that Andy would be my best friend. Everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I wish Andy would go to Spices with me. <laughs> Man, I'll tell you what, Spices, incredible restaurant. What a great experience. <laughs> Family owned, just good people, <laughs> great food. Are you fucking in their pocket? What's going on? <laughs> I've begun to take peace for granted. I assumed the war between our nations would be the last. But it never really ends, does it? Bispito says, Mike would be like, now, do we like these shields? How do we feel about these shields? We like these icons? We sure they're cool. Now, you in the same room together, looking at each like, other, doing Char this? Charlie and I weren't in the same room with this one, no. Okay, um, okay. But so a lot of the actors I was, um, it really varied from... Just scheduling and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, And then when COVID happened, it meant that we kind of had to stop doing that. Mm. But uh, we got a lot of groundwork in really early on. Hello? No. God damn, so you were recording before COVID. Mm -hmm. Holy shit. Yeah, That's yeah, wild yeah. to think about, yeah. That is insane. Yeah. I mean, it makes sense. I just can't. That's wild. Good night, Clive. There was a time before that. Yeah. <laughs> that was <laughs> crazy. A time. We were different crazy. We were crazy. We were definitely different people. We were blowing on birthday cakes, if you remember. Yeah. <laughs> Playing Warzone. Oh, man. What a time to be alive. So there's an um, accompanying song that comes out with 16 by uh, a Japanese artist called Kenshi Yonazu. And it, the song is called Moon Gazing. And so the moon plays like a really key part in this game. Mm. And certainly Clive's relationship and Jill's relationship to that moon. Heard it here first, guys. Heard it here first. <laughs> oh, he's got a white one. That's dope. Yeah. Yeah. No Way Josue gifted five subs. Thank you, No Way Josue. What color would your bird be? If you had one. 
So uh, I would love, I'd probably want a red one because red's my favorite color. That's awesome. Red. Red okay. would be cool. Yeah. So I'm loving what you're wearing today, by the way. Thank, thank you. you thank that. you. Thank red you. Red, red, red is right. my favorite color. And he says, because I get sunburned so much that I should wear red a little more to dull down my yeah, sunburns. Yeah, dull down the redness. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, DJ, that is very true. Blend it a little bit more. <laughs> that is very true. Um, DJ Kento, what's my favorite movie of all time? Oh. For years, I've always thought it was Logan's Run, which is a 1970s oh. film that they keep saying they're going to remake. Bring it back. It's amazing. It deserves a remake. Okay. May the blessing of the crystals go with us. But now it's something else. Now you have a different favorite movie. I don't know. I don't. I've got like a top five favorites. So like okay. Jurassic Park, Indiana Jones yeah. and the Last oh, yeah. Crusade, yeah, Back to the Future Two, um, because it's Back to the Future One and Two in one movie. So why would you not love it? Mm. Um, kind of like I'm such an ambling kid at that period of time. Yeah. Like I I love the magic of what they were making. Lord Rossville, allow me. I shall see her safely to Phoenix Gate. This is Wade. And they're coming up right now. Oh. That's you. And that's Andy. Yeah, <laughs> that's us. That's right. We're here to hang. We're ready to depart, my lord. May I say what an honor it is to serve alongside you. Oh, awesome. Come on. Oh, with the forearm yeah, shake? Yeah, that's always you a cool You be doing shake. forearm shakes Let's to people, that, that guy looks like Kevin. That guy looks yeah, like Kevin. Yeah, you, you yeah. do that to anybody lately? Only, yeah. That's how British people grease each other. No way. Yeah, yeah, that's everyone crazy. Everyone does. Yeah, yeah. You go, into, you go into McDonald's and, yeah, everyone's just shaking their own yeah. forearm. <laughs> that's <laughs> legit. Estimate them at our peril. Not today, we won't. When we were leaving to L.A., uh, Kevin, there was a great moment where Mike was like, it's all about family, man. And then... As you uh, Roger goes, what, found, what, what Fast and Furious character are you? And, and <laughs> yes. we all go, Roman, of course. You're fucking Roman. You're, you're goddamn... Uh, uh, and, then, and then I popped in. I was like, and I'm your Tej, dude. Yeah, exactly. Like, I'm the Tej. I'm just, I'm ludicrous. I'm always annoyed by you. <laughs> and then, like, we were annoying each other. We got into the car, one of the Ubers, and Tim goes, fucking Tej and Roman, man. <laughs> So we get a first look at the world map here, which does have inspirations from various things that you've seen. But this is kind of like the easy way of getting from place to place. Okay. Um, so if you just click on that, it takes you to what this would be called a stage, which um, during the game stages can be replayed at any point. Um, if you upgrade your, um, once you upgrade your armor or you upgrade your icon abilities, you can come back and replay a stage at any point. Cool. With the same stuff. I've always wanted to do that in Souls games. Let me take on that boss again now that I have this new ability, yep. you know? That boss part was so fun. Because I'm just one trying everything, you know? Yes. It's so simple. I know that's the tough part for Andy. Yeah. I Beats also love the music in this section. Um, Sokin's music is amazing, but also it exhibits his, the way he um, has this goblin. dynamic range where, like, area. when you get into fights, it surges into, some, into, like, more combat-based, and then it Lord. comes back to kind of being a more simple melody. And everything else. Poke you Batman, thanks for eight months of support using your Prime on us. Appreciate you very, very much. Now, have you always been a big Final Fantasy guy? Have you played them all? Do you yeah. have a favorite? Yep. Like, you know, what what was it like getting ready for this once you accepted the role? So, eight's my favorite. It's the first one I played. I recognize it's probably not the best one, but it's probably my favorite. Okay. I love it. And, yeah, I, I could go to bat for any of them. I could tell you why all of them are brilliant games. But the reason I play video games now is because of Final Fantasy. So wow. it's a bit of a pinch me moment that I'm here. Yeah, what a dream come true. Yeah. That's rad. Look at these worlds here. Okay. I didn't know Andy was part of my Cuba romance. Look, I'm Noctis. I'm somebody mm -hmm. from Final Fantasy. All right? It's part of the world. I'm here adventuring with Snowbike Michael. Oh, we got something. Also, this is a classic nod to a lot of Final Fantasy games where the first thing you will fight are three goblins. Get out of town, really? Yeah. Hmm. Or you will fight like two goblins or like a very easy enemy to start with to kind of show you the ropes. Oh, wait. God damn it, Kevin Coelho. God <laughs> damn it, wait. Look at these guys. These are well done. Do they have Final Fantasy movies that I can watch? Yeah, yeah. Well, there's the spirits within. If you want to, <laughs> yeah, like, let's go to bat for that. Everything Final Fantasy, but the spirits Final Fantasy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
It, it was it was Final Fantasy and everything but name or the opposite. It was it yeah. has the title of Final Fantasy, but it just seems like a random sci-fi movie. Yeah. But then Final Fantasy uh, oh, Advent Children. Children. Yeah. Man, that was like the future. I bought that shit on DVD. Yeah. It was incredible. DVD. I remember thinking, well, this is the greatest thing I'll ever yeah. watch. There's like a motorcycle fight on um, on a highway that is still. I just thought as a, like a 16 year old that like cinema doesn't get any better than this. And like these are the best visuals you'll ever see in your life. Look at yeah. the cloth. Yeah. On Cloud's like neck, you know? Because it's how you imagined Final Fantasy VII to look yeah. when you were first playing it. So it was the first time you could see something with that kind of fidelity, and it was mad. Welcome to Stillwind. Weijo says, I've tried to play Final Fantasy, I might try again. So, like, I've never been a big turn based fan. So, Final Fantasy games I largely skipped. I played 10 back in the day just because I loved the art and everything. Like, I was always buying Game Informer and Game Pro magazines and just drawing everything in them. But. Turn base still never quite my jam unless it's Pokemon. But 15 I was I really dug because it was real time combat. And then Final Fantasy VII Remake immediately became like one of my favorite games ever. And this is looking to be the same. Don't forget to use your icon ability. So if you hold R2, you can Yeah, I was waiting on that, so that's a great call. So I can use those not when he's Staggered and down, I can use those anytime. Anytime. Also, okay, yeah. cool. If you press start or the start key, yeah, this will bring up your ability menu. And so if you um, go press R2 and close and R2 again, what you have here is the um, ability wheel that you can go and spend points on. And so what I would say is come down here and you want this. Okay. So if you hold square, it, it lights up your blade. And then you also want this one, maybe. This lunge one, where if you hold X and square together, you can lunge it like a stinger. Um. Yeah. Okay, that's my And hold move square. Right Holding yeah. square. Or there, you go. There, yeah, it there it is. There it is. And when you let it go, it kind of does that big yeah. attack. Oh, yeah, and there's that lunge. Oh, man, that's rad. My favorite thing getting into combat, like fighting, knocking him up, or like when Torgal knocks him up in the air, then you yeah. phase to him up in the air, yeah. down to God. You can get so creative with the combat, it's so awesome. So after you complete this demo, it offers you this ability to do this like iconic challenge. So you get to do a part in the game which has gives you loads of icon abilities and you can just play around. And one of them is like having Torgal literally knock people up in the air and can, like juggle them up in the air whilst you can like shoot fireballs at them and doing the combination. I remember your L2 or whatever it is that warps you to people is also. Yeah. So, yeah. Oh, the circle, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. So this game really is about dodging, closing the gap and finding your moment to attack at this point in the game. Dude, that wasn't nice. Right, so so if you want to get to him down, quicker, yeah, you can right. just walk to him with circle. That's dope looking. And then also, this is like where people get real fancy with it, where they go like, hold on, they go. They, oh, you put a little triangle yeah. on that thing? What that does is... I'm used to like R1 and R2 though, so this is like kind of tough for me right now. Mm. And then like you can kind of like mix it up and you get like extra damage yeah. and stuff. Yeah, that's rad. Anybody want anything to drink? I'm gonna go to the. Could I get some water? Absolutely. Mike, anything? No, I'm all good. We're hanging out. We're having fun. A good time. How are you finding it so far? I'm loving this. This is cool. I like this combat. I really like this combat. Yeah. It does remind me of what 15 right had the kind of real time stuff mm -hmm. going on, where it was like, oh, now I'm in control, having a good yeah. time. You go this way. Yeah. What about you? What did you think? Are you a combat master now? Do you prefer the turn based? I where, am where not, do you stand I am on not this? a combat master. Okay. I I really love this i love how you can juggle the two things i and the way that they introduce it in the game is it isn't overwhelming i think often you can see all the flashy stuff in the trailer and thinking god this is way too much but like right now you've got like two powers yes one power that you can use and that's it and then it just slowly integrates it so before you know it you feel like you're an absolute master of the game because it doesn't overwhelm you to begin with um but yeah i love it I think it's cool. I think it suits this game, and they, this has been the vision since the beginning. This is what they wanted to make. That's wild. What about being the main guy? Yeah. Pretty amazing, right? Is no, it's awful. Special? It's awful. It's horrible. <laughs> Why would it be nice? What are you talking about? 
Mike, all, I'm the lead character all in eyes on video you, game man. Of all time. It's got to be what wild. What do you think the answer to that is? <laughs> <laughs> Was there some pressure to that then? Once yes. you signed it, were you, did you feel the pressure, though, of all Dude, this? that's all I felt for years. I thought for the first couple of months I was going to get fired. <laughs> Honestly, I really thought I was going to get fired. Also, a um, bit of tactics. If you ever see someone glowing blue, try and get them first, because they'll be flinging magic at you. Okay, yes. Um, yeah, huge amounts of pressure. My word. Like... I don't know, what, what your favorite game is in saying, do you want to play an important part in shaping the future oh, of right. that franchise? If they were like, yo, Mike, you want to be the next Master Chief? I'd be like, absolutely not. You'd, you'd, yeah, be, yeah. you'd be a great master. Oh, thanks, man. I try, dude. That's really rad. Are you in that armor? Oh, Mike, we have just about an hour left on the screen. I love that. So we can push for an hour and a half. You might want to repeat that. Yeah. yeah. Now, are you interested in playing some Viewfinder, too, later Oh, on? my God, yeah, Viewfinder. Because I would be down to check out some Viewfinder with you. Dude, yeah. Okay, that's what we'll do. Of course, at 1 o'clock, we go into overtime. It is all brought to you by you, the best friends out there, with your support through the Tier 1 through 3 subs on Twitch. And, of course, you can subscribe for free on Twitch. We'll get you ad-free viewing. And, oh, my, i got to fight a big guy now. Yeah, so you're going to want to dodge a lot with this guy. Okay. There you go. Yes. Now, will there be even bigger fantastical characters in this? Uh, no, this is as big as it gets. Uh, okay. That's, no, it, it, these, it gets massive. It, the scale of this game is incredible. And, like, again, they're very good at, at introducing you to these concepts because how big this game can truly get is is something kind of on a scale of your God of Wars. It's pretty massive. I can even hear the controller making noise too. That's pretty rad. Oh yeah, he's down. Okay, what do we got here? Yeah. Now, is there a special button for this, or is it just beat him up like that? So, as the game goes on, there'll be a lot more things that you can do, but right now it just goes, um, you want to time your cooldown, so like the next time that you dodge is put his will gauge down, you can see there. Okay. What you've just done then is a really awesome parry, so if you attack at exactly the same time that they're attacking, you can parry them and, and cause them to stun suddenly. Oh, okay. Tried for it. You're doing it. You're doing okay. How good your parry game? Uh, not great. Really? Even yeah, after playing yeah, Sekiro in those games? It's, it's not great. Okay. Um, I don't have the confidence to parry a lot of the time. I feel that. I've always been more of a dodge out the way kind of guy. Yes, me too. Me too. And he's really trying to push us all to get our parries a little bit better. There it is. So if you try the attack. Triangle, attack, triangle. There you go. Nearly there, nearly there. What's your favorite Final Fantasy villain or enemy? You know what I mean? Because um, you talk about the series, right? And there's some cool, iconic characters. What are some of the favorite ones? So there's there's ones that kind of like tend to appear in loads of games that are kind of um, iconic. So like coming up right now, like in the next couple of minutes you're about to see a very very iconic character from oh okay oh, wow mm -hmm. from uh final fantasy video games um i'm not gonna say what it is but it's coming up um but yeah my favorite my favorite enemy has always been the tombri uh and now mike a tombri yeah is a tiny little as a tiny little green beast thing with a little knife and a lantern and it just oh. slowly walks up to you very very slowly and then it will stab you and kill you in one hit oh Okay. Yeah, that's terrifying. Okay. Wait, is that here? Hmm? Is that in the demo? No, we were just no, we were, oh, just, no okay. we were just talking about um like favorite Final Fantasy villains from like Yeah, like, they they all always the put them all in the games. There there is even some in um Stranger of Paradise. Yeah. Final Fantasy Origin. You've got bombs, which are these uh, beasts that are basically on a timer, these like flaming things that can expand over time. If you don't kill them, they will blow up and cause collateral damage. Behemoths which are these giant, terrifying beasts, which are usually going to be some of the hardest enemies in any Final Fantasy game that you play. Here we go. And this. 
This ends now, little one. Oh my god, it's a megalodon. Imagine. Okay. You're gonna want to dodge. You're gonna want to dodge a lot in there. It's like the little shop of horrors plan. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Keep clear of its maw, my lord. And I know I reckon I've fought these in more of the recent Final Fantasy games, but are these in every Final Fantasy game? There are a few. I think yeah. this they're called Morbles in this one, but they're called Marlboros in others. But you don't want to be. Yeah, I don't want to be in that stank breath. Um, but yeah, they're in. They're in a lot of them. You know, each game has its own identity, and they each, you know, kind of take characters from various parts of the in mythology of these games and reinvent them for their own purpose. Mm -hmm. One of the iconic enemies is an Adamantois, which I remember in 15, if you ever played it, but like the ultimate boss in Final Fantasy 15 was an Adamantois that was literally a mountain and had like 50 million health. That's right. Everywhere. Where's it going? Your guess is as good as mine. You're about to be introduced to a mechanic now that's kind of a really fun key part of the um, of the game. Don't. Oh man, how cool! Yeah. A cute event right there. And so, right now, I think these introduce them, so actually I don't think you, um, sometimes you can't really fail these, but in the rest of the game, there are fail states if you don't do them, so you'll take extra damage if you fail them, um, and so on. So there's cinematic strikes and cinematic evades that happen, so they kind of seamlessly go in and out of combat. That's a dope name. Yeah, that's a dope one. Now, if you could run it back in any Final Fantasy and be the voice star for it, which one would it be? In any Final Fantasy? Yeah, if we could run it back and put you right there in the booth, what would it be? I'd really want to be um, a character called Laguna, who's in Final Fantasy VIII. I'd love to voice that character. But listen, there there are so many amazing characters from all the you know they've done the pixel remastered, right? Like, like Cecil from Final Fantasy IV, or Cecil as people call him. Um, I think it would be really cool. That's Kevin's dog, Cecil. Really? I didn't know your dog was in Final Fantasy IV. <laughs> That gap. I've always been very, eh, do I like quick time events or not like them? But in this game, they are done so stylistically cool. Yeah. That they're just, they're awesome as hell. And it's, just, it's mainly because you're looking at something done in a very, I mean, it's called a cinematic strike or a cinematic debate for a reason. It's done in such a badass way. Yeah. And they're done sparingly, right? They're not done yeah. all the time. Yeah. I think Tim's offering him the job in. Okay, I'm locked in. Ben will be back. Yeah. As I absolutely dominate this monster. What's happening here? There we go. And you played this demo already. Yeah. That's lit. This is a good, this is a good demo, bro. I'll tell yeah. you what. So is this essentially the start of the game then? Yes. This is, hey, here's the first two hours. Have fun. That's cool. I like that. Yeah, and this is also the same thing we played in L.A. I saw that one coming. There we go. Oh, he's freaking out. He's freaking out. Yeah, that's all right. You gotta let him be him. I remember also try out the like square triangle, square triangle. When it's timed right, it's just mm -hmm. awesome. Oh, back up. Yeah. One thing that Ben had you upgrade in that sort of talent tree, mm -hmm. one of the things that I also put on is the, uh, there's an ability that lets you recover faster. Okay. So instead of just kind of rolling on the ground, if you hit dodge at the right time when you do get hit, you kind of get back up super fast. Music's 
lit right Can now. Can you remap buttons? No, but there are three different control schemes. I chose to go with the more souls approach where right R1 and R2 are the attacks and then circle is your dodge. Fine work! Fine work! That's right out of the game. Yeah. Get some spoils of war, everybody. Yeah. How you and a level up. Loving that. I was just telling Nana I was having so much fun. And the music. Yeah. Very good at that moment, that's right. As the game as the game goes on, you will um one thing that kind of the team have really tried to emphasize are these marks that you can do, these like S mob marks. So they're much harder enemies that require you to have a much greater understanding of the mechanics. So they test Ooh. you a lot more. You don't have to do them if you don't want to, like you can still just plow through the story, but they're really amazing and I think at the live event you have Maximilian Dude playing alongside uh, Ryota Suzuki, the combat director, and they were doing like an S mob mark that was like 15 levels above where he was, and uh, it was really like fun to watch and like watching all the abilities play out, just kind of awesome. showing the versatility of the combat system. Yeah, that was a really cool event filled with a lot of awesome people, huh? Yeah. That looked like a good time. Yeah, we had like Alex Mukala on stage, like going with, um, playing with Soken was awesome. We had Alana Pierce talking to, um, talking to Koji um, and My Hero. It was great. It was a fun event. And we had loads of like fun people just like milling about and mm -hmm. enjoying themselves. So yeah, shout out to everyone who came. Thank you. I'm looking back on that guy, letting them know. Damn. I got to meet Kenny Omega for the first time. Oh wow! Awesome. Yeah, he so. was. There was a there was a close chance he was going to be at the Giant Bomb. Oh really? Event. The, oh, we were there, really? That night that we were there, but they were unable to pull him away from the where he was at. Yeah. In time. Very lovely guy. Very passionate. Very passionate about yeah. video games and Final Fantasy. Ninja Gaiden with 23 months. Almost two years of subscription here. Thank kind of you funny. so Thank much. You, Ninja Thank you so yeah. much, Ninja God. Well, we are now hitting one o'clock, which means we're all heading into overtime. Right now, Kevin has it for me that we filled up half of the bar, so we got an extra 30 minutes on today's stream. We're hanging out with Ben. We're playing the Final Fantasy 16 demo. But now I got to wonder: Do you want to go hands on the six and play Viewfinder? I don't mind. What, what would you? Are you okay with that? How? I, I mean. I think you need to get to the end of the demo. Oh, you think I got to just do yes, the whole demo? Yeah. Oh, how much yes. closer am I? How much time I got? What I do think, you think play through this. I think okay. yeah, just keep on, okay. just keep pushing forward. Am I at the end of this? Is this no, the you end? Got some time. But yeah, yeah. Oh some my stuff, god, there's, there's some stuff that happens. I think okay. we should we could push a chat. We want to see Mike see the end of this. Oh wow. Okay. 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 It's a pretty. It's something. Suddenly, thousands of red eyes. No, wait till you hear this. Wait till you hear this. His lordship draws his sword. Thanks for summoning, you the first bastard. The are screaming. Straight down our mama's gut. <laughs> Sphere Hunter's here. Hello. How's yeah, it going? Yeah, Susie. Got to meet Susie finally. Hey, you rock. Thanks Game for stopping Fest. by. Hello. Yeah. That's awesome. Can I just say, Susie is just one of the best people on the planet. So thank you for being so supportive and... Um, I got to um, hang out with um, Leon from Resident Evil 4 as well, Nick, Nick and um, it was an honor of just like us hanging out and Susie kind of introed us and we were just hanging out in the JW and I was like, this is mad. That's I'm so awesome. listening to you. <laughs> so. And congrats on Susie on being in the cyberpunk yes, expansion. Yes, cool very, stuff. Very cool. The Duke of Dustin, thanks for gifting thanks, 10 Duke. subs of subscription love. And Dr. Blade 5 gifted. Thank you so much for the support. We're pushing that bar. We're going to get Mike to the end of this demo. Casino Bala gifted out a sub as well. Let's do it. We're committing to it. Let's just rock Let's it out. It. Let's go all the way. Okay. I love this scene. Are you unwell? Thanks for subbing, you furry bastard. A little tired. A little tired, that's all. Well, it has been a long day. I need more buckles on this jacket to pull off the Final Fantasy look. Hi. Your brother will be a fine shield. We're all very proud of him. But what about Amicia? Father. Crashing Jack's rip. Thanks for gifting up five each. Dominus is always born into our family. Thanks for subbing, you for a bastard. God, he's good in this. Yes, <laughs> so good. <laughs> We cannot live without the blessing of the crystals. And the crystals work their magic through us. You have been blessed, Joshua. 
Blessed to be a dominant, to wield the power of an icon. Our family has been chosen to share that power with the people. So that is what we must do. Oh, that's a good moment between father and son right yeah. there. Yeah, I've always felt like it's very natural to get annoyed by kid actors. Mm. But even mm. in Plague Tale 1, it's all like, man, this kid is so good. So talented. This is such a good actor. <laughs> also, it's just so underplayed. It's just like, play the honesty of the scene. And I think what Logan does is like, why you fall in love with Joshua over the short period of time mm. is it's just, you, you sense the love and the pain and the fact that like, he isn't as loved as much as Clive. He doesn't feel that. He doesn't feel like he's worthy of having the Phoenix. He doesn't understand it. And Logan just like encapsulates that in the lines that he yeah. has. This line is heartbreaking. Thank you, Sandy DJ. Such a great stream. Hope to come back. Hope you come back in the future, Ben. Yeah, thank you. It's a bunch of bros being bros in there. Yeah, the little ones. The little ones got a lot of pressure on him. Yeah, too. He's got to be the one. That's tough. John Snow saying, "I don't want it." For you being a fine hound, I don't want it. This guy's got some John Snow moments. He's got a dog. Here we go. Nice little one. Here we go. So this is where you've been hiding. What are you doing out here? I didn't see you at the feast. Feasts are the only time shields are allowed to take their ease, and I've never really been one for cakes and ale. It's the vegetables I don't like. <laughs> 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 He's so cute. Red Star, Mike. Mm -hmm. Got to make a wish on it. Got to make it's a, a wish. Metia, what's it called? Metia, yeah. <laughs> Metia, got it. Nailed it. I hear you slew a marble. All the men were singing your praises. They never used to. When I joined the ranks, everyone thought I was a spoiled little lordling. If I didn't know how to handle a sword, I'd be a laughing stock. The Archduke's firstborn failure. You're the one they really believe in. I'm jealous. That's not true. They don't believe in me. They believe in the power of the dominant. My brother the Phoenix. Ruler over life and death. It isn't fair. It should have been you. I don't have what it takes to lead our people. I don't have the strength, but you do. This kid's good. Jesus. I was gonna say, Ben's going to have to dig deep right now. <laughs> He's got to come up with some good lines here. Oh, Ours was decided long ago when our ancestors chose to instate the dominant as the Archduke of Rosaria. All to ensure that whenever our nation stood on a precipice, the phoenix would rise from the flames to drag us back from the brink. The fate of Rosaria sits on the dominant shoulders. It is your duty to bear that burden. What about you? I was born to be your shield. That is why I was given the phoenix's blessing. To keep our future rulers safe. No matter what. You've got a future in this, Ben. Yeah. That's a big bro right there. I'll never let you down. No, we won't. Thank you, Clive. I know you'll always take care of me. <laughs> oh, God. Before I can do that, you need to take care of yourself. You got to. Right? I've got some NyQuil. <laughs> some rubber tussles. I should go inside. It's past my bedtime. Good night, Toggle. Toral just hanging out. Good yeah. dog. Toggle winning an award for best performance. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Great mocap actor. Yeah. Good boy. 
You're just a good boy. And we're just continuing hold on, him. like, tell me, tell just me. Just hold on. Just watch. watch. Oh, okay. Just okay. don't say shit. <laughs> don't fucking look at me. I like, haven't right? left. I'm locked into this. Yeah, you look at me, I swear right to God. Supplies from the capital. Took your time sampling the wearers, were ya? <laughs> it's like, yeah, I gotta have a little bit of it. It's a good job the north is full of enterprising traders keen to keep us in wine. Oh! It's like that, man. Oh no! Oh no. Yeah. We got trouble at the gates, people. We can't have nice things. And why are some of the guards in on him, Mike? Exactly. Nothing scarier than just a torch sitting on the ground. It's like, oh man, you know bad things are happening. Also, the music, very good right now. Uh-oh. Power of Xbox. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> we proceed as planned. They're pissed off his exclusive. <laughs> <laughs> I'll push forward with the plan. Here it comes. Tonight we make this multi-platform game. <laughs> Whispers Hail Hydra. Yeah. <laughs> Oh man, they're coming after the kid, huh? Oh. He can channel magic. Of course. Give me my prince. It's me, Wade. You probably don't remember me. I remember. What is it? We're under attack. I don't know who they are, but they've set light to half the castle. I must get you to see. Call him Wade. Him. Yeah, Wade's one of the good ones. I trust yeah. him, Wade. I'm going to be real with you. At first, I was like, I can't trust this guy. But then he was like, I'm Wade. I'm like, OK, I can trust you better him. better trust Wade, bro. Oh, I'm playing as the kid. Oh, oh no. Yeah, you are. Oh, my gosh. Oh, how cool! <laughs> this makes it look so good. Yeah, yeah this is wild. Castle. I'm afraid so, Your Highness. We must hurry. Well, we gotta find my bro. We gotta find my big bro. Yeah, we gotta go. Shout out to Wade, though, for figuring it out, getting to me first. I think what I love about this part of the game is it shows you, like, how... Through gameplay, how hard it is for Joshua to actually wield magic. I always love it when a game does that, right? Where it goes through gameplay, we're going to show you how much toll this is going to take on his body. You're not, mm. as, you've just been playing as Clive. He's swift, he's fleet of foot, he's easy to control. To this is you. a little bit different. Uh oh. You want me to open the door? Oh no. Yeah, not really great. Everything's on fire. Uh oh. Well, well we got a bad guy here. No. It's a triangle for magic. Oh, awesome. There you go, Wade. Get after him. Get in it, Wade. Help me, Wade. Let's Ooh, go, Wade. big fire slash. That's cool. You can see after he, after he does every attack, right? He's, after, he's, all yeah, he's looking like Jimmy Butler out there. Yeah. Man. Poor Jimmy. Giving his all. Jimmy Buckets. I love that line. That's such a good line. Oh, that hair. It reminds me of, uh... Looking good, kid. The intro to The Last of Us, when, uh, Joel's daughter is like, I just saw them this morning, the, the yeah, neighbors. Yeah, yeah. Like, that's exactly what that line reminds me of. 
I love dudes. These damn Imperials, these damn imps. Oh! I don't know what I you did there. You healed you and Wade. Oh, is that what that is? Yeah, okay, circles cool. Kiraga. There you go, Wade. Let's take care of business, you and I. Damn it. The bastards are everywhere. This kiddo's got some game, y'all. He's got some cool moves. Showing a lot of promise. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the really digging first this. First round draft pick. A little disappointed we don't have the cool fireball above my head anymore, because that was that really dope cool, looking. Yeah. yeah. But I got to find Big Bro. Not really worried about Dad. Not gonna lie, Dad's been great this whole time, That's but I'm good. looking That'll for my fun. guy. Yeah, he could take care of. Us. I'm looking for my big bro. Me and Wade together, though. Yeah, Wade, and, I'll tell you what. Me and Wade, we could go places. Wade and Braun, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Who's this, your brother? Tyler. It's Tyler, the redheaded kid. Oh, yeah, that's, that's tough. You. That's our bro. It's our bro. We've known each other for years. Exactly. <laughs> my guy, man. I, he's going to save him, though. He's got the touch. You got the touch. Oh, don't worry, Tyler. Tyler, don't speak. Just let me do it. <laughs> I got this, bro. I'm going to save you. It'll be fine, Tyler. <laughs> don't worry. I'm putting you out of your misery. <laughs> <laughs> It will be painless. Yeah, it just like slowly jabs a knife into it. No, 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 your highness, your highness! <laughs> it's what the phoenix would want. <laughs> oh, yeah, you know who it is. Oh, yeah. It's our guy. Bro. Big bro, bro. Man. Oh, there he is. Oh, the whole crew's back together. We're back. We're back. We're ready. We're all back. On your left. <laughs> Tyler, you got to get up, homie. You rescued the young prince. Well done, Sir Wade. I'm in your debt, soldier. That's so. That's Kevin Coelho. That's crazy. Thank you. That looks exactly yes. like Kevin. I mean, but for real, we got to get out of this. You know what I mean? You want me to be in your debt? We got to get out of this. Yeah, there's a f yeah. You got the fly or what? What's gonna get the kids the hell out of here, dog? Now imagine if we use it, if we move as one big unit. No, we're just going us too. Oh no, that's the rest. Oh, I love, I love a Stolas in this game. On the lost Alan, to Isam Gelif. May the winds speed you to Rosalith. That's a that's a line that delivery. That was cool. Yeah. That's a line delivery right there. Me lost the land to Asagali. I remember having to say that a few times, thinking, how do we how do we say that? <laughs> <laughs> the north gate's up ahead. There are chocobos in the stables. Father, take Joshua and get to safety. No, I'm not going without you. You're supposed to be my shield, remember? I remember, which is why I'm going to hold the enemy here while you make your escape. I will order our remaining forces to rally at the gate. Now go. Then we're really trusting Dad here. Solo Dad. Sad. I will do my duty. You must do your duty too. I, I know. He just wants to play with Legos, bro. Yeah. He just wants to play video games or Fortnite. To keep father safe. I'm counting on you, Joshua. See, that's a that's a call back to what um, Elwyn did to Clive at it's the beginning. Thing. Yeah, it's mm. the I've got you, I've got you. Yes. Yeah. Put me back with my boys, though. Let's go to work. Okay. Yeah, Daddy's got to work right here. I mean, I'm putting a lot of faith that the North stable is safe. You know what I mean? Like, really hoping that that's going to be a safe area. Doesn't matter. Got to focus on the now. Let's go, Rodney. Let's go. Me and Rod. Rodney. <laughs> Me and Big Rod. Let's go, Big Rod. Where's my other homies? Those two okay? No, it's just yeah, you we'll and Rod. We'll figure out those guys later. I'll we'll have to dominate some fools. They'll come to me. What do we got here? Ooh. 
Dick off. Oh, I saw you doing that too. The mages in the back are always like healing people and shit, yeah. so watch out for that. What's up, all that falls? How's it going? Damn it all. With the power of the it dual does. sense. Susie's just said, I've noticed Clyde puts his own fist to his chest in some of the trailers. You have. Good. Wow. Susie, good eyes right there. Okay. Good, good noticing. Captain. Oh, these guys got dope helmets. Yeah. Chat, it looks kind of like that new Pokemon, the one that was just introduced in Pokemon Violet. The night one. You take care of that spellcaster. I'll keep the others occupied. Yeah, Pikachu's the one. Stereo Ledge, nailed it. Oh, I just had myself a battle right there. My dog Nick, thanks for the 102 months, my dog Nick. That's oh, a long wow. time, my dog Nick. Thank you, Nick. That's incredible. It's my father and Joshua I'm worried about. We should head back. You should. But wait. Final Fantasy IV. Woo! Woo! Listen to that music, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, I gotta dodge that. So fucking sick! Oh man! Remember the dodge. Yeah, I'm very calm, very calm. This guy's, this guy's big time. Stay still, damn you! Rodney, you doing all right? I'm doing okay over here. Rodney! So if you fail that um, that QTE, okay, um, he doesn't say, "May I have this dance?" He goes, "Sorry for cutting in." Ah, oh, that's good. Ah, that's that's good. good. That is good. Okay, didn't get out of that one fast enough. That's something. I would just go to town right yeah, here, brother. Yeah, go to yeah, town. Yeah. I'm gonna do this one too. What I really like is people have really picked up being like, is that a Stinian's voice actor? And who's a, a, a great character from Final Fantasy XIV. Oh, and, um, cool. I couldn't possibly say, but I love that there are okay. people who are... Uh, <laughs> Got that ear. This dude doesn't have shit on you, Mike. This is amazing. This is unbelievable. He's open. I just shot, I'm gonna shoot that right back at him. So lit, dude. <laughs> get him, he's down. Now, Clive, how about it? Yeah, let me get up in there. Oh, he did the double jump on yeah, me. He got yeah. me good. I'll give it I'll give it to him. He got me good on that one. So imagine this though, but you have like different icon abilities to do. Like you're enjoying it now, you've got like, you know, your Phoenix shift and that, but like this game gets very cool when you're like shifting with different icons and you're like cutting between Garuda and Phoenix and Titan. Oh I parried him. Oh big parry! Got him with the parry poppy. Big parry poppy. Yeah, uh, Titan's parry. God, it's so satisfying. I didn't realize what it did until, like, you kind of got into the rhythm of it, and I was like, oh my gosh, yeah. this is, this feels so perfect. I was watching Maximilian Ooh. Dude play the demo, and watching him just, like, wait for people to attack him and just doing the Titan parry. 
And also, that's the ability that has the the perfect timed, yeah, heavy right. Yeah, that's so sick. Yeah, that was cool. It was a good battle right there. I think I saved the day. You really did, guys. Yeah, I no, think I saved the nothing's day. Nothing's gonna go wrong. I'm, right? I'm happy to say that I think everybody is now safe here. Creed says, "How's the parry time you feeling this? The parry, I feel like, is always a thing I do on accident because." You, you don't hit a button, it, you just attack to parry. Yes, that's what they're telling me. It's two attacking. attacks at yeah. the same time, yeah, yeah. So I rarely go for it, because yeah. I think the dodging is so much cooler in this game. Imperial Vipers. Do they really mean to invade? Dragoons? Cool word. Cool word. Yeah. Now the Titan ability parry, I feel like, is really dope and awesome. And it feels awesome, timing-wise. They were here to take heads. Our work is done. We should return to my father. My lord, look. We issued these sashes but yesterday. In Rosalith. If they were already among us. What if there were others? They said among us. Father and Josh, you are in danger. We must hurry. Take your steed. That's a call back to Final Fantasy X. Just so you know. What, take your steed? No, that whistle. Oh, is that Yuna, whistle. It's Yuna's whistle. Okay. Oh no. I think they just mailed, I'm gonna find you. We'll find you. What was that? He's having visions. Last know. night we watched Total Recall for the first time. Mm -hmm. Pretty dope. Is Say it what? It ends. Is it all a dream? Yep. Is it reality? <laughs> who's, to, who's to say? You know what I mean? Yeah, who's this to is say? Just ripped off Total Recall. Yeah, <laughs> Total yeah. Recall. I'll tell you what, what a crazy movie that was. Your grace. Here we go. Is everyone safe? For the moment. We ride for Rosalith to rally our forces. I will need your help to see Joshua safely back to the capital. No, this isn't good. Don't got a good vibe here. Joshua. What just happened there? Chocobo got fucked. Oh no. I'm sorry, Your Grace, but that won't be possible. Mm. Oh, they got the owl too. You are the snakes. Stay back. I'm warning you. Run, Run. No. Oh. <laughs> oh. Wade's here. I've seen this so many times. I yeah, he's freaking every time. Oh, you gotta get up, young one. Awoken something inside of this kid. <laughs> so oh, how cool! Oh man. Phoenix. Yep. Yep. And everybody gets eviscerated. That's the crazy dude. <laughs> Oh no, he doesn't know how to control it. He's oh, in freakout mode. You gotta get out of here. Panicking. He's lost control. I have to do something. I have to save him. No, my lord. Fall back. Man, that's wild. You're delivering these lines. You know? <laughs> yeah. like, it's so crazy that you're writing. I'm just like, oh man, you're dropping that. That's awesome. Ooh. 
Everybody's chocobo is not in a good place right now. Choco, no. Oh, no. Oh, his bird saved his life. That's so dope. Get her another school. Please. Joshua, are you in pain? Shield. Do your duty. Save him. My lord. Whoa. Whoa. Oh. The music, dude. The second icon of fire. That's impossible. Rodney just blown to pieces. Rodney, Rodney gone, melted. Is that me? About to find out, dude. Is that us? About to find out, bro. Oh no. Everybody's dead. The dude on fire that you see standing there reminds me so much of Metal Gear Phantom Tank. Right? Yes. <laughs> yeah, we gotta get out of there, Phoenix. Oh no. Guess where we're back to? Beginning. Here it comes. Full Got circle, the time on this Full thing. circle. Oh man, it wasn't ready for it. Get your hands on the sticks, brother. And this how this is very well done. Do some aiming. I'm gonna aim a little bit, okay. Yeah, there, there, there's that. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I made it too soon. Oh, I got him. Every sense. The score is ridiculous. You pot a tree. Go on, Joshua. The dude you saw standing, uh, the dude you saw standing there, Mike, who's on fire. Yes. That's actually Chris Evans from Fantastic Four. Oh, no yeah. way, man. Yeah. Even torch, yeah, we got Chris yeah. Evans in to do it. That was crazy. Yeah. That was a big yeah. role for him. Yeah. A lot of budget went into yeah. that. Pause. Andy, I need to take my spot for a second. Okay. One second. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what? Gotta go piss or what the fuck? <laughs> I just wish he would tell us. Yeah, that'd be great. It'd be great. Do you want, do you, do you want me to play it? I don't know. He said take my spot for a second. We'll get him a little bit further along in there. Yeah. I think maybe he has diarrhea. Oh my god, no. Jesus. I just, I lied. I don't know. What a time to bat! I mean, yeah, that's Mike. That's what he says. Did you want to just pause him? No, we'll get to the uh, to the we'll end. We'll just kind of like get a little bit. Yeah, okay. get a little bit further into this.
I think they want us to pause it. Huh? I think people want us to pause it so we can play it. Oh, just pause for a minute? Okay. Okay. What do you want to know? Should we fill some time? Are we allowed to fill some time? Is that good? Do you have like, are we yeah, yeah, yeah. to stay on? No, absolutely. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Chris, I guess, says make sure yeah. he's not headed home. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm going to check on him. Before damnation. Yeah, I know. I, I've I've played this enough to know where that moment happened. So that's, yeah. I was just trying to push him along to that. Yeah. yeah, maybe we just do that. Or like, what do you want? What do you want to know? <laughs> Does someone want to check in on him? It's just, he's just he's so interesting. He's just so interesting. He said, pause, I ran away. <laughs> Susie, do, you want to be a, do I want to be in your stream later? I'd love to. I think I'm flying back from San Francisco in a bit, but let me know. Let me know, and I'll see if I can jump on. Oh, Mara, I'm seeing your... Yeah, that, you are so dead on about that, Mara. He's back. He's back, I'm baby. back. He's back. We played like five seconds. Okay. Then, uh, then you were like, Mike's got to see this moment, right? Yeah, everyone kicked off. They were like, no, Mike's got to see Yeah, I'm sorry. I needed some water. So we're back. We're Can you back. Did you say that then? Like, no, well, yeah, we're like, all I jammed like up in it. here. Yeah, <laughs> let me get let me get some space for a second. Here we go. Let's get back into it. <laughs> we're back. <laughs> oh. Got thrown off my game there. I thought he was going to go pause and come back with, like, another voice actor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is my buddy. <laughs> yeah, he's great chases in the room. What? <laughs> so what are we ripping apart here? What is this underground? So there's something called the Apoditry, which is okay. below Phoenix Gate, which I can't really say too much about. I mean, you can okay. try and do some active time lore on it, but... Um... Stop. Great call. No, no right now. Not nice. doing, but, but, yeah, I wouldn't do it now. It actually won't let me. No lore, just battling. We're running low on health, so I have to... Yeah, you know, you gotta evade these big dots. Well, I mean, he's coming out of nowhere, you know what I mean? There's a lot, go there's a lot going on right now. <laughs> Listen to this in the morning, just getting out of brushing yeah. my teeth. Get him, get him, Mike. There we go. Now it's time. You'll know he's coming after you when it starts blinking real bright white. Yeah, it. It's press strats right there. You're gonna need to hammer this triangle button. Okay, oh yeah, yeah, we're gonna hammer that. I definitely fail stated this <laughs> like the second time I ended up doing it. <laughs> I didn't think it was possible. The hellfire. Yeah, How cool. That's a big ult. And it just went to game over for me. I was like, oh shit. <laughs> oh, I got him. Trust yeah. Yeah, you Okay, did. okay. That was pretty badass to start off a video game with. But little does he know, you know what I mean? Or who is that thing? We don't really know yet. Just landing on everybody, dude. <laughs> cool sound design on the little on Ifrit. It's like the biggest budget thing you've ever seen in your life.
God, it's so good. Still a lot of questions. <laughs> still a lot of questions. I have no idea what's happening still. Is the kid dead? Was I the monster? Took the same way. No. This guy's the cool homie. Yeah, these guys are bad dudes. Quite a mess that monster made. Damn shame about the Phoenix, but can't be helped. My condolences, Your Grace. Is there aught we can do? Look who it is. Ah, oh, she was in on it the whole time. Captain. Joshua was my world. And now he is gone. I can only pray there will be a place for me in the world his radiance seeks to create. She will not be getting a Mother's Day card now. I see. She's working with someone. Is that guy gonna let me live? Let's see. Your Grace, over here. Well, this is probably the last person we would want to bang into, to be honest with you, you know? She's not gonna be pleased. The rubble must have protected him from the worst of the flames. Shall we take him prisoner? No need for that. Kill him. Hmm. Wait. As my husband never tired of telling me, he is a fine soldier. I'm sure he would make an excellent addition to the Imperial front line. All in its right place. Whoa! Take this one. Chin up, lad. You're going to be a soldier. We're gonna get your ass tattooed. Oh no. There Thanks for it. playing! Oh, come on, guys. <laughs> that was awesome. That was really, really dope. Jesus boys. That was Christ. really special. There it is. Oh my gosh. And we got to be with Ben the whole time having yeah. a good time. Yeah. Okay. That sets me up. My carry saves carry or my save carries over. Yeah, yep. That's pretty dope. Okay. But there's more I could do. You guys said I can come back if and you keep playing. To, yeah, you can. They they set this thing up, which is the uh, um, iconic challenge, where if later on, I mean not today, obviously, but like if you wanted to, you could first of all buy the game, but also um, get to know some of the icon powers and play around and experiment with different things and respect your character. Cool. Just much yeah. later later on in the game where you have more abilities you're infiltrating a place with sid it's you know it's it's 13 years after the events that you just saw and it, and it goes from there and you're hitting a, a different button to switch between like the fire icon ability now you go to the wind and into the oh yeah, like, really yeah, 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 okay yeah. okay yeah. boys i'm blown away by that yeah. demo i had a really really good time and ben you were fantastic oh thanks i hope you get to hear that every single day because you were you were phenomenal oh thank and you. shout out to the crew around you too are there any names that we all should know i know you teased a couple that we can't know but like who are some of the names that we should know oh so um, you know what i mean so i can't talk i can only really talk about the voice cast who've been announced but okay i okay. just want to say clearly in that you've got charlotte mcburney and logan hannon playing uh jill and uh, joshua respectively okay uh, Ralph Einstein, who plays Sid, he's not in this, he's amazing. And then all the people who uh, like voice all the um, dominance and icons. The cast is is vast, and there's so many other actors who haven't been announced yet because, mm. you know, we don't want to we don't want to give stuff away. So just oh. the cast, they're brilliant. Every single person in this cast is is so talented, and I feel very inspired to be a part of the cast with them.
Dang, Ben. That's pretty special right there. Well, thank you for sharing this moment with me and with Andy and, of course, our awesome best friend audience all around the globe. This was dope. Where can everybody find you in case we want to know what your next projects are? What else you're working on? What other oh, cool things you're doing, you so know? So I am the underscore Ben underscore star on pretty much every social media platform that you can okay. find. So just find me there and I'll probably be talking about something. Um, so yeah, that, that's basically me. But thank you everyone for, for letting me play this game with you today. Yeah, don't thanks, for, thanks for playing here, with us, you. man. And thanks for your kind of funny games daily appearance. Of course, I can check to you, talk about all the nerdy news you need to know about yeah. today over on kind of funny games daily. And thank you to so many awesome best friends for joining us from around the globe during today's stream. It was a really special one. We got to check out the demo. It's now live. You can go listen to Ben in your ears giving you a great performance and then of course tomorrow we're going to join nick and andy and i for a big zelda stream so don't miss out on nick's first step into zelda tears of the kingdom should be a really fun one until then ben you get the final words what do you want to tell everybody goodbye um thank you for being wonderful thank you for the support enjoy the game next week and um yeah have a great time oh goodbye everyone have a great day